All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get this started up here. Okay, thanks, Lola, for making a lot of noise. Appreciate you. There we go. Okay, I, I think, I believe that we should be feeding out to the folks out there in the world. Let me know if we are feeding out, if you guys can hear us. All that. Oh, I got to put my light on. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, we got lights. There we go. We Camera. should have sound. All that stuff should be going. Guns. Yeah. Let's take a gun out. Oh, it looks like looks like Lola selected a 22 here. This feels like a 20. Yeah, I knew it was a 22. Okay, come on. Let's throw guns up. You guys are joining us. Oh, wait. Food. Food overrides everything. Looks like mm -hmm. pasta. It's like pasta enchilada. Vitole. And then, oh, look at that. Baby. Yeah, Mexican. Yeah. Um, so you're joining us live on player so we can hold guns, even 22s. My Walther, I'm all Walther today. Look at that. I'm all like Walthered out, uh, not even deliberately. And Walther's throwing up some pieces of metal. We have no idea what that means. <laughs> well, I'm sure you we'll will. Hear. I'll tell you in a little bit. Yeah, exactly. We will hear about that. But you're joining us live on player so we could touch guns like that because YouTube won't let us do it. Uh, oh. Babyface. Oh, what's Babyface got? He's got a new build. Which I believe is supposed to be on a Hank Strange lower. Is that allegedly? Oh look at oh look at that, the classic mm -hmm. lower. Walt, which what kind of lower you got there? Do you know a Hank Strange lower? Ah, I need I need to get my hands on one of those. Safety Harbor lower, mm -hmm. Safety Harbor. So mm -hmm. at some at some point here we have to run new lowers, and I'll like make up a logo or something. Either Patrick, Walter, who knows. Uh, we'll let everyone go for it. So, what was I saying? Okay, if you want, if you're listening to this on audio, you want to join us live from all over the world. People are listening to us. You can join us live on Player slash Who Move My Freedom podcast. Um, can you not hear me, Patrick? Or he lost his audio, I think maybe. And if you are watching this later on on YouTube, because we throw it up on YouTube, uh, but you want to join us live, go to Player slash Who Move My Freedom podcast. That's how you do it. I'm going to hit the button and we'll get all into this right now. Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Move My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like Franklin Armory. Franklin Armory provides 100% U.S. made firearms and awesome binary option triggers. Their focus and purpose is to provide freedom tools to all Americans, especially those in not so free states. So when you're in the market, please consider Franklin Armory. Oh my, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> You guys caught me my freaking laptop everything my not my laptop my uh ipad here crashed i don't i have no idea why hopefully i'll get so i can't see any of the comments or anything yet hopefully patrick and you guys can see that let's get the jazz hands going come on there we go jazz hands there you go i hope you guys have your big girl panties on because we are live this is episode 1022 10 oh what this is 1022 and none of us have 1022s uh, oh, go, gotta go give me a Ruger. Yeah, this is not. I know. Right? I actually I wish do you have one. Let me see something. At here. least get a twenty-two. I mean, I don't have a ten twenty-two here. No, either, no, no, no. That doesn't work. That doesn't. Work. There oh, needs to be a ten twenty-two. You need Lola getting you a ten twenty-two. Okay, Lola, if you can hear this woman, get a ten twenty-two. I got one. I got one. Um, I got one. Not just any one, but I got a special one. Oh, do you have that? Do you have that like special edition Boy Scout one? Doing back there. We can't yes, even I see do. anything. Back there. Yeah, I know which one he has. Very nice work oh, stock. Oh, oh it's still in go. the bag and everything. There we oh, go. Oh, it's not. It's never. It's never been fired. Yeah, that's a beauty. Oh well. Beauty. Well, you know what? You remember Hank Strange when we were messing with ten twenty twos, and I mm -hmm. stole the part off of one to make something else. Oh no! I think you <laughs> I need a barrel, man. You didn't put I still it back. Put, I've got it, but I haven't put it back. Oh, hold it right there. Is that? Boy is Scout. That not, is that yeah? That's that's the Boy Scout. But who, yeah, which Boy, Boy Scout is that right there? That looks like Dean Martin. That's or something. just no. Oh. It's just a picture. Mm -hmm. There you go. So yeah, Very this nice. one's so never got... been never been shot, yeah. which yeah, kind of sucks. It's uh, Hank. That is a Norman Rockwell painting. 
Oh, Norman Rockwell. Oh, I just looked nice. at their website. It says that oh, is the oh. picture of Boy Scouts from Norman Rockwell. Yeah, I think this is the one gun that Walter has not fired. Uh, I have more than one. Oh, I bet. So. I bet Walter has more. Yeah. I have more than one. So let's see here. I'm trying to. Um, nice. 42 Chilled sends a link to The Truth About Guns. Franklin Armory drops big announcement beyond the binary trigger to trinary trigger. Yes, and um, that, that leads me to the title today of the show, because it, this is episode 1022, it's Free For All Monday, and it's called Everybody Has Jokes, <laughs> with uh, Walter of Safety oh, and yeah. Firearms. And you remember Dr. the Brownells one from here? Uh, what was it? You could get a semi-auto Dylan minigun? Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, what was that like yeah. four or five years ago? Brownells was like, "Yeah, we're we're doing a semi semi auto Dylan minigun." Yeah, <laughs> seventy eight thousand yeah. dollars. And they uh, Jin Champ Jr. Oh yes, yo all hello forty two chilled storm rifle night train Mexican dishwater Walter about to chomp down on smells good from here. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Mexican dish Walter is about to chomp down on. It's not Mexican dishwater. Oh. <laughs> Real Cujo's out there. Uh, we need brutal honesty and self integrity. I guess they're talking politics or something before we jumped in. Uh, Able Defense Mike says hello. I hope hello. He's hello. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Mike. Uh, I hope he's doing well. Uh, is, is he not? Uh, uh, we can. Can we call it Transary Trigger for day of? Yeah, are we going to talk about yesterday? Was literally anything but Easter. Yeah, how exactly would a trinary? How would a trinary work? It would shoot when you look at it, shoot when you pull the trigger, shoot when you release. I don't it. even know. <laughs> shoot your mama. <laughs> yeah, how? I mean, how exactly would a trinary work? That'll be interesting. Um, yeah. You know, so yeah, it is April Fool's Day today. Is April first, twenty twenty four. So there you go. Um, and like I said, episode ten twenty two. I don't know if Lola even heard me, if she's looking for... I don't know. You know, I thought you were asking me today in our chat thing whether or not I had a 1022, and I completely didn't listen to you because or pay attention to what you were saying. (laughs) Lollipop. Dyslexic. uh, I'll give you... I will open up if you guys are good with this. I'll give you some of the best uh, um, April Fools from around the internet. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay, go for it. There's a brand of soda called Olipop, and they said that they are making Pringles sour cream and onion soda. Oh my god, that would be disgusting. Stoner lingo translation app from Rosetta Stone. So if you need to translate stoners, Rosetta Stone could help you out. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Dada Decoder Infrant Equipment Site Baby Quip has its own language, uh, uh, a baby translator where you can hold it up to your baby and it'll translate what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Um... An AI-powered plush doll, which just sounds creepy as hell. Oh, yeah. A 50-pound bear buddy I don't know what a bear buddy is, but it's a massive bear-looking thing. A sleeping bag to go over bananas. Oh, a sleeping bag to go bananas over, sorry. The Dole Banana Peel sleeping bag. So it's a sleeping bag that looks just like, why should they should make that? That thing looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a picture of it. Let me see. Uh, Omaha steaks. Uh, you can get Omaha steak uh, uh, bo- body care, make you smell like steaks and seasonings. Mm. Uh, so you get, uh, let's see, what is it like? Deodorant, uh, lemongrass, basil shampoo. You can smell like a steak. Uh, sriracha toothpaste. Ugh. Fruit mm. juice lip gloss. Juicy fruit, making fruit juice lip gloss. Protein powder seasonings. Super powered super feed. I don't know. Scotch, <laughs> scotch tape brand scotch. There so the drink. There's the one. Yeah. That's a, that looks so, good. That sleeping bag. Yeah. Scotch brand tape is making their own scotch. Mm. Like the drink, like the liquor. You know what's um, one that got me? The critic. You, you guys know the critical drinker. Yes. The scotch yeah, yeah. guy. He's like. Um, he put up a video saying that he quit. And I was actually looking and like, what? Why did he quit? And I <sighs> completely forgot it was April Fool's. So I go through the whole video where he's like, I'm done with this. I'm not making That's any April's. more videos. And then he goes, by the way, happy April Fool's Day. Uh, um, yeah. Not in April Fool's. And I have had this before. And I do really enjoy this stuff. Uh, they're saying this is not an April Fool's. Uh, Patron is bringing back their coffee tequila 
Uh, and that stuff is really, really good. So that's that's not an April Fool's. That's actually a real thing. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Duncan's got new merch. Urban Outfitters uh, launches Name the Shirts Movement. Auntie Anne's Frontier Airlines collaboration on a pretzel plane. Jesus Christ. Uh, Moe's. Oh, this is disgusting. Moe's is doing a queso slush. So it's a team up between Moe's and Sonic. You can get a slushie made of queso. Oh, God. <laughs> That's all they got on here. Yeah. That's absolutely disgusting. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, so let me... Actually, I got a couple of things to do here. First of all, let me show our logo for today. What do you guys think? That's a good one for today, except the eagle with <laughs> bunny ears. He's got bunny ears. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's funny. I don't know. Why, why would you have anything about eggs and bunnies it's not like we had a holiday um, recently it was oh i'm yesterday... sorry are you celebrating a, a transitionary transgender day? yesterday was the day of transition remembrance uh, and uh Che guevara day you know has nothing right else <laughs> nothing else happened <laughs> okay the rest of us were celebrating no Easter. it wasn't it wasn't Che guevara it was um uh, Jose che had the, the, Chavez, the Chavez, yeah. Chavez, Chavez, excuse me, I shake with our, who's not Chavez, of our doing? <laughs> but I wouldn't put it past these fucking commies in this country. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past them at all. Oh, it's going to be every day. And you I, know, I can't, I can't wait to see what they turn Christmas into. Well, it's already been turned into say what's coming to my mind. I don't even want to say it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. uh, Able Defense Mike says, Hank, I'm recovering well. I just had my bandages removed and didn't need them replaced. Still have sutures that fell away eventually, as, well, that will fall away eventually as I heal. Everything seems to be healing faster than expected because I am Superman on my weird diet. Okay, there you go. Superman. Yes. Yes. Uh, so that's good. That's good. Uh, I do follow Testicle him, so, so. surgery. He's got uh, four extra testicles added to his own sack. That's yeah. what he's talking about. I mean, so he's, he's, now, a, he's got, now got a total of six. Is testicles. he the first quad testicular? Septesticle. He's, he has septesticles. That would be six, wasn't it? Seven. That's what I just said. He got four extras. He's got six. Oh, that's extras. right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Oh what the boy. Hell <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. So yes. So that's why the eagle has uh, bunny ears. Uh, the dog is pretty much the same, and uh, the the skull has a clown oh. face. And there's Easter eggs up in there. <clears throat> I Speaking I of... have a big announcement. Hold on. Oh boy. Go ahead. We're what not is, pregnant. Uh... Don't worry. Marley's not pregnant. Oh, okay. uh, I can't show her actual face because she. I probably don't have the right to. Hold on. Let me show it. Uh, I don't have a picture. But big dog. Cooper. Cooper the big dog that we had that we've been housing since November. Got a home. He's got a new home as of yesterday. A very lovely older couple uh, came by and wanted to meet him. And they took him for a walk and fell in love and took him home. So happy ending all around. Big dog found a home. Good for you. Yeah, that's I'm nice. so happy to have. She was like, "I can't believe you." I when I foster dogs, it's so sad. And I was like, "Yeah, it's so sad. Get that fucker out of my house." Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> normally, normally you would be sad. Though. Yeah, he just wasn't meant to be ours. We from the beginning said that he is not our dog. He is somebody else's dog. We're just homing him until we find him a home. So. Now I was happy to see him. I was happy to keep him. I missed him a little bit last night when we, you know, we're all settling down for bed. But I'm yeah, happy that they yeah. sent me a video of him uh, on the couch with them, and he's just passed out while they're rubbing his belly. He is happy as a clam. Yeah, you know, you're, you're Patrick is one of those people that really doesn't like too many human beings, but loves pretty much every creature. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I had to, weirdly enough, I, I have a bunch of friends like this in my life that hate people but love animals. Well, which is, I had to cool. put down a raccoon one time, and I felt bad about that for a couple of days. And it 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 got it. It was its own fault for biting buckshot, trying to bite buckshot's eyeballs out. So it had to go. But I still, I was like, man, I, I feel kind of bad. Yeah, rocket the rabid raccoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> had to get put down. So yeah. Mm. What were you gonna say, Walter? In the middle of eating your delicious, uh, what kind of pasta was that? I don't, I don't no, know. it's um, like an enchilada. Oh, there you go. Okay, awesome. Yeah, awesome. kind of spicy too. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know, Easter was yesterday, right? And so, according to I'm, some people, according to um, I was all red blooded Americans. I, <laughs> I, I was in the I was in the rack with my significant other, 
and I was, and we were just talking, and I was like, "Think about Easter. Mm-hmm. What, what does have? What does Easter eggs and a rabbit have to do with JC's coming out of the resurrection, so to speak?" Um, it has I don't to do know where with inventing came from. inventing new things for us to spend money on. Go ahead. Uh, no, no. If you go back mm-hmm. in time, back way back, Germanic folks associated okay. the rebirth with eggs and rabbits, you know, because rabbits procreate it, you know, oh, okay. like uh-huh. a rabbit. Uh-huh. So actually there was a historic... So um, there's a pagan, there's a pagan... Yes, uh, it was actually always... to, it was actually to con, con the pagans into thinking like, you know, was all right. Christian folks, you know, yeah, um, yeah. and you have to, you, you know, it, the best way to get a, a beer drinker into the church is to give them a little beer, right? Well, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, there's a lot of holidays that they, the church just said, okay, you know, you can have your holiday, but come and, come and pray in our church, you know, mm-hmm. come, come see us, you know, give us yeah, some money, give us some fellowship checkles. with us. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 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 So, so there is actually. I'm pretty now, sure. I'm know, pretty the, sure these politicians have very deliberately decided to make uh, Transgender Day. Uh, recognition of oh, Easter Day. That is base, ba- like, oh, you know what's perfect for this? Easter. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You die in one think, sex uh, and you awake another one. I don't think JC took the the uh, crucifixion and beaten for no transgender folks. Sorry, he didn't. Listen, you know, I think at the end of the day, if you if you are a Christian, it was for everyone, but. It's still it's still disrespectful, though, in, in, in my my personal opinion, it's disrespectful. But you know what? I I don't. I think we're at a point where, like, uh, especially on the left, they just don't give a shit. No, it's right. all it's all. Yeah, it's one big game. Yeah, you know? they are trying to and, insult um, people. They want people to get mad. And they've and they scared a lot of young folks into expressing their real thoughts because yeah. they're scared they're going to be a. You know, instead of coming out and saying, no, oh, you're a fucking idiot or you're a retard or whatever. No, mm-hmm. well, we can't say those words. Oh, well, you can't say those words. Yeah. That's like, yeah, that's bad. Cody M. Yeah, no. uh, hey, Cody M says, haven't watched you for about a year, Hank, but I'm back today. Okay, thanks. Thanks for coming in. Let's Welcome give, back. Yeah, let's give a, I could probably do a shout out for everyone who's out there here. Let's Is, are you back up and running finally? Um, I'm still scrambling looking for stuff, but anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, shout out to 42 chilled. I see him. He's out there. Cujo 74 is out there as well. Night train is out there. Point. Able defense. Mike, as we said, JCP 90, uh, he says Walter new STG 44 update. Really? Uh, wait, so who's got this, who's got this STG 44 update? Um, uh 42 chill says luna is on fox i don't know what what luna is uh luna isn't that uh congresswoman right could be wrong and uh yeah it's what's the name of um i forgot her name anna paulina luna anna paulina luna yeah isn't she from florida I think so. <laughs> Could be wrong. Um, yeah, Cody M is out there as well. So shout out to everyone. Hit those arrows up. So we appreciate that. And uh, we usually start with the weekend. I don't know where Walter went off to, so we'll let Patrick go for it first. Oh man, uh, this weekend. Um, we so Friday. I I started my weekend a little early by day drinking all day on Friday, uh, and oh. I. I helped uh, a, f- a friend, I guess you'd call him at this point, a guy that I know from the gun store. Uh, he works over there. Um, and he's a really nice guy. Um, he wanted to make uh, some M16 parts and builds, and so I told him, just bring all this stuff over. We'll throw it all together and paint it and make it look good. Okay. What? Oh, Marley's. I was wondering what Marley was laughing at. Um, did that... Uh, and he came over and said, Hey, I got something to show you. I got something to show you. You might like this. I was like, okay, what is it? What do you got to show me? And he was like, well, check this out and I'll show you. Let me pull it apart. Coming right in here. There's some construction work going on. Yeah. From a child. Um, Oh, Oh, here we go. He brought, he brought this over to the house. Minus, minus the peck two. The peck two is mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was like, hey, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm willing to trade it off if you want to give me something. I'll trade you for it. 
And I was like, oh, okay. So this so is what is this, this is, for the people the people who are audio only? Uh, yeah, this is a a full G watt upper. It's a Colts. Uh, everything is Colts, other than it does have a Knight's Armament quad rail, like it's supposed to. Uh, the way it's sitting right now, it has a uh, TA thirty one RCO, an M four version of the RCO Trigicon uh, uh, ACOG. It has a side um, canted. I mean, these uh, optics are worth a couple of bucks on their own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but then again, it's it's uh, Colt here, Colt uh, receiver, Colt barrel, uh, mm -hmm. Surefire muzzle brake. Very, very nice upper. I mean, mm -hmm. it shouldn't cost what it does. It's, it costs mm -hmm. that because it's the brand that you're paying for. But mm -hmm. money wise, very nice upper. And he was like, "Yeah, it's for trade. I'll trade you something." We hemmed and hauled and hemmed and hauled, and he was. Like, He's an uh, an ex marine, which I guess they're never ex marines. You're all once a marine, always a marine. He was in the Marine Corps, loved his M16 that he had in the Marine Corps, so he was already building one over here at the house. I was helping him put it together, and I had an M16 A4, and he was like, "Man, I'll take that upper from you. I'll trade you." And I was like, "Dude, I cannot just give you my A4 upper for all of this that you're providing me. That is way too little, because uh, this he has an ACOG. It's got a bunch, you know, it's got all this stuff on it. Mm -hmm. So I ended up." Uh, we hemmed and hauled, and I ended up just giving him my M16A4 build uh, and, and trade for this upper. And uh, I am super excited. I got to take it out to Walters on Saturday. We uh, went to the Hacienda. No, not the Hacienda. The clandestine testing facility. Right. And uh, got to shoot or two camp, magazines. Is it camp of five, five, now? I don't know. If that's oh, yeah. I don't know what we're calling it. Yeah. That's good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got to shoot two magazines, a full auto through it, shot really nicely, and then I went, uh, that's too much, I'm too cheap, that's enough for me. Mm. <laughs> we, we sat and shot the ship for a while. Uh, Walter, I did some filming with Walter, we got to uh, break a bayonet, Walter can tell you more about that. <laughs> I, I, did get to on the bayonet. I, I did get to shoot his uh, 303 and his uh, 410 shotgun infield thing, which both were very fun to shoot. Yeah, I uh, and then we got to, to come out to this just to shoot up your ammo, but I missed. And it. then we got to lucky. we got to saw off some guns. Walter Walter did fully legal, by the way. He has the proper licensing. Uh, sawed down some guns for some testing purposes. Uh, and by the way, that's the AR-15 shotgun that Walter was testing, which he knows more about what it is. Really nice, really nice gun, by the way, uh, for what it is. Uh, then Sunday we had Easter mom and dad. I got 24 seconds. Sunday we had Easter mom and dad came up. They played with the baby the entire day. We went and did some fishing on the lake. And here we are today. I am exhausted and I'm... I'm T-minus 10 seconds. Poking around, yeah. Uh, yes. So we got to take this break Five, and come back and Walter's going to tell us what he did. Four, <laughs> two, goodbye. Walther Arms has been making concealed carry handguns for over 90 years, starting with the PPK. Today, Walther is based in the good old US of A and still builds quality firearms like the PPQ and PDP for personal defense and competition. So when you're in the market, please consider Walther Arms. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Moved My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like Walther Arms. Right, so check it out. Look, here is my Walther Arms right there. My uh, PPQ in 22, I think, is that the PPQ Navy? I don't know. I can't remember. It's the 22 one, though. So there you go. There you go. Bam. Bam. Um, yeah, man, man. Lola obviously didn't, Lola obviously okay. didn't hear me because she didn't bring a 1022. And are you talking about Paulina Luna here? I'll show yes, you. Yes. Um, Night Bam. Train, I think, posted a, yeah. Oh, no, no. Go to the, if you go to the chat, Night Train posted a pic that y'all might enjoy. Yeah, she's oh, my rep. Let me see actually. if I could see. Oh, okay. she's your rep. She's a. She's a. Yeah. She's not. Not. I wouldn't kick her out of bed on a Sunday morning. Uh, which one did he post? Or a Saturday, or a Friday, did? or a Thursday, well, or a Wednesday, or a. Thursday. You'll see. That it's a big. It's a big link that uh, citizensrefpress.com. dot it, It's yeah. a big old link. You'll see. It's like six comments up. I mean, you can also always go to uh, like uh, Instagram because I think she, I think I follow her on. Nice uh, side mount. Yes, nice side mount. Yeah, yeah. It's a T Rex. Um, uh, T-Rex offset red dot. Uh, this, this upper is, is a bad mamma jamma. Uh, and as stupid as it is, I think I'm going to buy myself a surefire suppressor because somebody was supposed to let me borrow his, but he was too busy to show up. So I want to, uh, I might buy myself a surefire can to, to throw on this thing for Fonzies. Yeah. <clears throat> as I said, I would have happily come there to spend your, to shoot I had, a, I had, I brought, Walter will tell you, I brought a full ammo can for you. Yeah. 
but you know, yeah, he just didn't work I, out. Boom! Well, there yeah. you go. That's I'm just throwing. This is from the. This is from the Instagram. If anyone wants to, I I didn't even bring an empty ammo can like I had promised. Wow, she's got a nice set of pouty lips too. <laughs> <laughs> and so, how is this your rep? This is Walter. She's like the you know, St. Pete area. From what I understand, she ran for office just kind of on a whim, mm-hmm. and won. Yeah, and she is a gun now, chick. She had done some commentary and stuff before, I think. Like she was kind of in the scene, but not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, well, formerly my representative was Mike Bilarakis, and Mike Bilarakis, his father was um, um, also uh, not Joe Bill. She Joe is shooting some guns. A long time uh, representative yeah, yeah, yeah. in this area. And, so with um, guns and shooting some guns. This is what? What is this gun? That's some sort of like weird AR-15 thing. Yeah. Super lightweight looking. Yeah. Which I'm on yeah, the fence. Well, you guys are going to have to tell me. Mm-hmm. I am really on the fence. Uh, uh, Brownell yeah, still way. has those KE, the stripped KE, uh, what would Jesus do lowers? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know hey, what to call what would, what would whatever what it would is. Walk- what would Walt, Walt do? Yeah. Walt yeah. Do. What would Walt do lowers? They still have them for like $65. And I'm really thinking I should just buy one just to throw it in the safe. Mm-hmm. You're on the fence, huh? Mm-hmm. Phantom yeah. Phantom. Um, that's, you don't even, where's your, you don't know where yours is? I could get it. I just got to do a little digging. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to get there one day. Um, well, I got to do digging to get to the key to unlock the it, home. Those are the what would oh, stoner. That, those are the what would stoner. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. What would stoner that do? Forgotten yeah. weapons did, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, keep talking, keep talking. Which is reminding me, because uh, I don't think we did a shout out of this, but I'm trying to find, oh, man. Um, I think we're in luck. Let me, let me you know that, to... we're in luck. You got it? Oh. I have easy access to what I need to get to. Okay, so let's see. Because of that, I will show you what Walt would do. <laughs> or what, Walt, or what, 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 what Walt did. No, it wasn't what Walt do. He already did it. So give mm-hmm. me a couple <laughs> seconds here, and I will free some. Okay, so what I was gonna say, and I'm trying to find it here at the same time. Walt was trying to find that. Um, so do you know talking about Stoner reminded me of um the passing of mac glenn jr that i was telling you guys yeah, about. Yeah, you yeah, remember? yeah um we talked about talk- that yeah we've that talked about him here passed. yeah i don't think that we wasn't... huh that was that wasn't junior that passed um that was I... mac glenn senior not junior yeah um junior is still uh junior yeah making stuff i'm trying to find the thing and i can't find the announcement. we talked about it last week though Oh, we did. Did we yeah. talk about it on the show? Yeah, we talked about it last week. Oh, we talked yeah, we about did. what he made and all the stuff he did. Yep. Oh, okay, we did. Okay, <laughs> cool, cool. All right, let's see. Walter's ready. There you go. Boom. All right, here's what Walt did. <laughs> there's that lower that there's that lower that Patrick's talking about. Yeah. The K yeah, yeah. arms on, on a Bear Creek Arsenal side charging upper, uh, with a ATI real lightweight handguard, pencil thin barrel, and a break. My gem tech break, so I can put my gem tech sandstorm can on there. So that's what Walt did, number one. And Walt was still inspired later on. And Walt bought, I used one of the KE Arms FDE or whatever you want to call this color. Another Bear Creek Arsenal upper, but this was a whole Bear Creek Arsenal upper. Mm. But I replaced I replaced a heavier barrel with a lightweight barrel. Mm-hmm. And a, uh, just a three-prong break just for... A little duckbill break. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess you call it that. It's more like you know, Vietnam vintage three prong. So, yeah, it's a. Uh, these are cool, yeah, cool like lightweight guns. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's what Walt did. Mm-hmm. So, shout you know, out to boss. What... Shout out to uh, Boss Hog out there. You haven't seen him in a while, I don't think. Here in the chat. Yeah, Walt, I think you did some good builds. I don't have any of mine readily available to go after, so. Um, well, since I opened up the, the vault here, let me just show you something I did a long time ago, which some people nowadays would probably have a shit fit over, but <laughs> looks like a regular Mosin carbine, doesn't it? 
except for that. Oh. So, so this was basically like a forty-nine or fifty-nine dollar Romanian Mosin carbine, yeah, and I, I cut I cut the old barrel down to thirteen inches, and added a three-inch break to get it out to sixteen and change break that I made myself. Welded it on, chopped the stock. When you shoot this thing, the the typical reaction is, did the bullet come out? <laughs> that's good. Cool. Yeah, there's hardly any recoil. Yeah, there's not much cool. recoil at all. So, but no, I this was something I did. That's been 20 years ago now. So, yeah, um, believe it or not, yeah. <laughs> that's hard to believe. But um, <laughs> so I also have, have. We have shot this, right? I think we have. I can't. I remember. don't know that I have. I've never seen it before. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it looks. I also have me, a but, I mean, a Turkish cheap. Mauser that I did the same thing to eight millimeter Turkish Mauser. Okay, that one's also fun too. But then again, those guns were like cheap, fifty, sixty dollars. I mean, and they this wasn't all Parkerized like this. I reparked the whole thing and made it made it prettier. Did a little work on the stock, but yeah, they what were kind of they were the that? NX. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, Romanian chew wood. <laughs> no, I have no idea what it is. Oh, the reason I say okay. chew wood is because AK stocks used to be advertised with Manchurian chew as Manchurian chew wood. Uh, I don't know what <laughs> chew wood is. I don't know if that's just, you know, chewed up prisoner sneezed. wood or something or what. I don't know. Yeah, I was just um, wondering, like, what tree it has, like, an interesting. I don't know. It looks like kind of like leopard spots or something, I want to say, but I could be. Oh, wrong. that's just uh, called dents and dings. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But no, it uh, it um, it finished up nice, and this was a, uh, it was just something to do, you know, entertain myself, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, yeah. So shooting gallery says that break is epic. I would be into something like that. So there you go. I'm shooting gallery. No, that's out to him. Yeah, it's, 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 Joe, you could shoot that. Don't be scared. It wouldn't yeah. hurt you. <laughs> um, and let me just put this up just for correction, because I'm not 100 percent sure we actually talked about this on the show. But here you go. Captain Matt Gwynn Oh, it Jr. is Junior. Yeah. Oh, um, sorry. He passed March 11th of 2024, rest in peace, um, at 79 years old um, at the main Veterans Hospital in Togus. He was born in Quincy, Florida, so he's a Florida man. Um, to Matt Gwynn Sr., and this is the guy who, you know, worked with Stoner, I think, right, and did all that, developed all that stuff. So, and I know his son, who's Matt Gwynn uh, III, who runs wow. MGI and MGI is also the company that is making that new arm pistol. So, um, you know, like respects to you guys. His dad, a uh, senior or junior, the one that just passed is the guy that came yeah. up with it. The arm pistol. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, they, they, I... they did a lot of cool stuff. If you want to read up about him, uh, you know, I, I have to dig a little bit on that. I don't on know the original, the original arm pistol concept. Well, I think was something that evolved out of Colt, if I'm not mistaken. But I might be mistaken. Uh, we could look it up. I'm not gonna. gonna I'm not gonna. I'm not. I mean, no. I, I have uh, to pull up. Firearms uh, categorized as either long or uh, either a long pistol or compact carbine rifle produced by the Gwyn Firearms Camp Company, and then later Bushmaster Firearms. So Gwyn came up with it. It says he on yeah, the Wikipedia yeah. page. I think that's why that's why the Matt Gwynn that I know is developing one. So Walter, you've got an original one, which I'm still trying to get one. But um, if not, <laughs> well, if I can't get my here... hands on that, these guys are going to make one. I need to invite him to come on. He's a really cool guy, and he made that gun I have that you could switch into all kinds of different guns as well, which I think Matt Gwynn Jr. also originally developed back in the days. So, go ahead, Walt. Oh, I'll have to do some looking. I know mm -hmm. the original concept for those guns were like a pilot survival gun. Mm -hmm. And the original caliber idea was like 220 something fireball. Um, mm -hmm. One of these small little, like a 5.7 type cartridge, a small, you know, not, not a full size 223, which is, you know, kind mm -hmm. of way obnoxious for a for that mm -hmm. thing but um mm -hmm. yeah i'll have to dig right remember where i saw that at when, when you were at shot show walter um the beginning of this year did you see this arm pistol there the, the, no i did uh... not i did not okay i didn't get okay. by their. i didn't get by their booth i missed a lot at shot I to be honest. Yeah. So. i'm gonna see if i can reach out to them and um if i can get maybe matt gwynn uh the third to come on and show us that gun and and 
you know, talk to you guys. He's really, <laughs> really nice guy. I met him years ago when I first started doing all this stuff. It's always very cool to me. So I'd be happy to help them promote their stuff. I'd be happy to buy an arm pistol from them. Do you know <laughs> how much? Gonna, the how much is it going to cost? I think I it's no like idea. twenty-three or twenty-four hundred dollars. Okay. So are you still ready? I'll, I'll have to just put it on layaway. <laughs> <laughs> put it on layaway. Boss Hog says, "Babyface P, how is your gunsmithing business?" Uh they're going going well. I uh, I'm busy. I'm busy, 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 and. The fun thing about being a gunsmith is not everything you get that walks through your door is going to make you money. <laughs> so the thing I'm learning is not everything makes you makes you tons of money. Yeah, makes you what uh, rich? Money. Makes money. money. Not everything I, I oh. not everything you touch that comes through the door makes money. No, nope, some it's things not. you just gotta. Some things you gotta take it apart, look at it, and go. I just wasted an hour looking at this, and it's going back to the store. And well, can deal with it. <laughs> that's one of my main reasons I don't do that type of work is because. A lot of it's um, an impossible task in some respects. So there is, if you guys want to look at what I'm talking about there, I posted on Instagram today and I, I sent it to y'all as well. Uh, the Ruger 2245 came through the door and was basically, if you pushed, if it was on safe, you touched the trigger even a little bit and then took it off safe, the hammer falls. So basically, uh, it fires as you're taking it I off. Mean, that's totally Super fine, dangerous, right? <laughs> yeah, ho horribly dangerous. It's that one right there, up top oh, right left. Here. Okay. Uh, you can see if you scroll to the next. What the hell? Oh, wow. Somebody took a Dremel tool and just removed the entirety of the shelf, the sear engagement from the oh, hammer. Wow. There's no sear engagement on that hammer at all. <laughs> so uh, two I called. <laughs> Good. Got me choked up. <laughs> I two two I things in this to... world. Two things in this world that require permits: <laughs> Nyl uh, those tight-fitting pants for chicks and a Dremel tool. And a Dremel tool. I swear to God, <laughs> Jesus. So, but the problem is, to me, that's just a drop-in part. I called Ruger and they said, "Oh no, no, no. That's that's you have to send that back to the factory to get it replaced." It's it's like five dollars worth of parts. Can't you just send me the parts? Nope. Sorry, you got to send it back. Uh... Oh really? That's a lawyer thing. That's a lawyer Ooh, thing. That's yeah, why. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, I basically, I, I left it in pieces on purpose so nobody can put it back together and say, "Oh, you didn't tell me it didn't work." Mm -hmm. And I put a note on it saying, "Do not, not safe to fire." Took it back to the gun range and told them like, "This guy has a couple of options. One, uh, I can go and get the parts off of like the eBay had some. It's probably going to be a little bit more expensive." Uh, yeah. it, it's my, my would be like 65 bucks plus the cost of the parts to put it all in mm -hmm. Two, um, you can send it back to Ruger and Ruger said that it's $45. You pay for the return shipping, which is $45 and they do everything for free. That's probably his best option. Or three, yeah. I was like, if this is a great opportunity, if he really wants to, he can go to like Volkortsen or Tandem Cross, get some like really nice drop in parts. I'll fit them in. We'll charge him whatever. And he can have a really, really nice pistol. So I was like, you call him, you figure it out what he wants to do. Most likely they'll just send it back to Ruger and get it replaced. But I didn't even charge a bench fee. I wasted an hour looking at it. Didn't charge a bench fee and just took it back and said, I, I just, this is, get this off my books. I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I understand how that goes. Shooting Gallery says that's the uh, one reason that was making me lose my passion for gunsmithing. You want to try to make every customer happy. Even you when can't. it's an impossible task. There are you some can't. customers that I'm learning. The more I do, the more I'm learning to say no to certain tasks. Some things yes. have come in and I've made the mistake of saying yes to and knowing like when you meet with the person or they give you very specific instructions on how to do something. And you're like, I, you and I are not going to get along. You're not going to like what, no matter what I do to your gun, you're not going to be happy. Maybe this is not meant to be. So I'm learning more and more just to say no. Yeah, maybe like they can do it themselves. Yeah. One other bit of other bit of small wisdom too: there are folks in this world that should not own a firearm. There are lots of those. <laughs> there are lots of those. It's amazing. They and, come in and talk about stuff, and you're like, "You own a gun? What is you crazy?" And they and they and they drive a car too. And they <laughs> and they vote, Walter. And yeah. they vote. And they have oh, chil well, children's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know that whole breeding thing is, you know, uh, yeah. Usually the the weaker minder breeder harder, easier than the than the than the minder. But anyways, um, uh -huh. I've seen yeah, it. It's, it's, 
it works. It, I mean, the business works for me because it's multiple income streams. I'm also doing AK yeah. builds and things like that. So, you know, I get, I get some of that. Um, but the, the day to day of the stuff that comes in the gun store that people ask about, some of it is just, I had oh. a guy and, and I, I understand the cool factor. It was just an impossibility. He brought in a side by side shotgun and he wanted, it was a 410 stumpy, uh, like a uh, coach gun. 410 side-by-side coach gun torps type of thing. 18 and a half inch, as short as it could be. And he was like, can you thread it out for chokes so I can go shoot turkeys with it? And I was like, I was like, here's the price. Let me look around to see if I can do it. I, I called, he wanted Benelli chokes put in it. So I called uh, Pacific Tool and Gage. I was like, hey, I want to order uh, this. They, they, they have the parts. I was going to okay. lose money on the project. You know, I needed no, no, four hundred dollars no. worth of tools. I was gonna spend. I was gonna charge no, them two no. something. No, no, no. <laughs> I was very lucky. Pacific Pacific Tool and Gauge was like, "Oh, that's a special order item. It's gonna take six no. months for before we can even produce it." And I, I was like, "Yeah, tell the guy we can't do it. Have him send him out somewhere right. else. This specialty thing, shop. Send him somewhere else." <laughs> first things first. No funny chokes. I know. Right? I, I learned if that. You wanna, lesson. I have. I have. I have tools to cut a Remington thing. You get a Remington choke, whether you like that Remington choke or not. You get rim you chokes. Get that's one. it. <laughs> yeah, you don't get one. You don't get a choice. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you, there's no way you can make any money on that job. There's no way. No. Nope. So I, I learned that lesson. I, I was lucky that I, you know, Pacific Tool Engage didn't have any of the tools. So I basically was like, just tell the guy we can't do it. Here's a shop that specializes in that. Tell him just to mail it to them because we we can't. I, I can't do it. I can't even get the parts to do it or the tools yeah. to do it. So. Yeah, you got to oh, say read, no. Read, read, read Joe's comment, the last one. Uh, last comment? Oh, okay, hold on. Um, he says, I agree. Some people should not own guns. Laugh out loud. When I was working the counter, this dude that was new to guns straight up told me that he wanted a fifty cal to protect his house. Uh, from blue the helmet blue, showed up with tanks. Blue showed up with tanks. <laughs> The UN, the blue helmets of the UN. I know, I know. You I, know, I, would, yeah. I I always used to love back in the nineties, Patrick, when you used to do mm-hmm. gun show. There's people yeah. running around, and this word was like the UN's got a hundred thousand troops out in the desert somewhere. <laughs> was that really and, the, the... And, yeah? And I'm like, you, you want to think about you know what it takes to house a hundred thousand men and keep need, them off. Need, the, yeah, you need twenty five thousand women to service them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, where are you going to hide a hundred thousand UN troops? That's impossible. What the fuck? You know, That's of impossible. course, everybody they were always these people were always trying to sell something too, but um, uh, you know, it's yeah. like come on, come on. Um, uh, primitive hunters you know, is interested in long range shooting and maybe someday go out west and shoot some elk. And the night train did follow up and say they introduced elk several years ago into Western Carolina. May have yeah. to go out west of the way. Um, well, where you, we go, you can't, you can't uh, shoot those elk though. In no, those are protected elk. <laughs> yeah. uh, we go to Cadluchi Ski Area, and they have a fleet of elk that run there. A whole herd of them. Beautiful things. Uh, but yeah, you can't you can't shoot them elk. Well, <laughs> I know where to get the women to service the UN people from. Oh, oh fuck me, go. this retard <laughs> shit right here. We'll talk about this later. We'll talk oh, about this later. No, three seconds. We're seconds. taking a break. We're taking- we wouldn't be able to keep the Who Moved My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like High Point Firearms and Full Forge Gear, bags and gear for everyday life. Did you know High Point is an American family owned and operated company located in Ohio with over 30 years of manufacturing experience? High Point is proud to be the home of the working man's gun and your source for affordable handguns and carbines with a lifetime warranty. So when you're in the market, please consider High Point. Um, So a couple of things I got to do here. One, shout out to the folks from High Point and Full Forge Gear. I do want to show this to you guys because I don't even think I got a chance to tell Patrick and Walter. Uh, Full Forge has got level 3A plates that they are selling. I saw that. I saw that at shot. Oh, you did? Okay, very cool, very cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if we can actually get, you know, we can get our friend to come on. Come on. Let's see more about Um, this. George, I mean, not George, Joe of uh, Shooting Gallery just received a 10-millimeter carbine from High Point. And he's going to be be doing some reviews and rocking that thing. Mm -hmm. Now, time to go to Hightower Armory and get a bullpup kit and make it into a really neat little (laughs) bullpup. Actually, you know what? No, I I have something for Joe. 
uh, all the way from the clutches of Flying Rich. If Joe is interested, I do have a chassis for the high point that makes it turns it into a Beretta uh, PX, RT, whatever that Beretta carbine is, 100X series carbine. Uh, uh, I have a, a chassis, so I've never used it. So if he wants it, you are welcome to it. Okay, cool. And we'll get, also, we'll get Dave to come on and talk about those plates, and maybe we'll test some of those. Yeah. What's up, Walt? What are you going to say? I mean, I also have the uh, 10 millimeter carbine in the high mm-hmm. in the high tower. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Stock. Oh, if you want to use it, Joe, and do a yeah. comparison. Yeah, it's yeah, that's true. Fun. He should. Yeah, you should let him uh, do a thing with yours. Um, Primitive Hunter says, "Good evening, fellas. This is from a while ago. He said, just got a phone call. I've been waiting for my Ruger RPR is in. Um, ordered it in the infamous 300 PRC. So there you go. Uh, Ruger uh, very rifle. Ruger precision rifle, I think is what he's talking about. And 300 PRC, I don't even know what that is. I, I mean, I've heard of it. I'm assuming it's a big. Uh, uh, sure. Can I, can I show you a it. precision rifle? I would love to see one. Go for and another unzips, story about unzips that. pants. Another- <laughs> this is a Moss. This is a Moss thirty six, which is the French. Uh... I I think the French designed some really retard looking guns. I think the Moss series are awesome looking. Those things look fantastic. It's actually a very strong action, by the way. I, I've heard um, that. I've heard they're really tough. But oh, and this one's got a name. It, it's called Alu. This was, this was <laughs> on the stock. I did not put that on there. This was on the stock. Alu. Mm-hmm. So um. I bought this from Century Arms. It was a surplus rifle. It was full length. You know, the stock usually goes all the way out here, just about all the way out here, and there's a little more barrel. One day, I'm, I got this thing, and I'm, I popped the bolt out, and I'm looking down the bore, and I could see the side of the... If you ever look down a crooked barrel, it, you can definitely tell it's crooked. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, gosh darn it, the barrel's bent past yeah, the I mean, sight. We've seen AKs like that. So you know what I did? I was like, "Well, it's not—it's not bent back here; it's bent out here." So I went, took it <laughs> off. It's legal length; it's not short. Mm-hmm. Chopped the stock off, finished it off a little bit, and Alu is now a cabino. So <laughs> yeah. So did yeah. someone what, like uh, use is that, that three hundred eight? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that three hundred eight? Uh, seven five French. Oh, this one, okay. this one's never been converted, and I do have some oh, seven five oh, oh. French somewhere. Down. Yeah, seven well, five oh, oh, French oh, does not so, French. sounds like a clothing designer. It's very, <laughs> it's very close to three hundred eight. The ballistic. I, I would like to wear so, the seven five French jeans. Yes, I learned some of that, you know. <laughs> that uh, is craziness. Okay, no, that's cool. Yeah, but it it works fine. You know, it mm-hmm. just you know it just had to do a little battlefield modification. So, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. another shortened gun by Walt. Yeah, I was Back gonna say, day. how does the how do these guns wind up like that? I mean, it didn't. I'm assuming it didn't come out of that. bent like that. Oh, yeah. people use them for pry bars. People do all mm-hmm. kinds of weird shit with them. So, mm-hmm. um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, let's I, see. I kinda, what, mm-hmm. Once what once I found out the barrel, barrel was bent, I was okay. Here's one where the barrel's not bent. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's what it normally would look like. It, mm-hmm. I cut it. Oh, I cut the stock off back here. I hate to say, Walter, that looks fantastic. The way with that this dark one's wood, nice hot, damn. Oh yeah, yeah. That's this nice. is this one. This one nice. is very beautiful. This one yeah. is from the river. So it's got different style. Ah, yeah. is, that's a nice looking gun. That is fantastic looking gun. Yeah, I need the. What I'm missing is this front piece right here. I got to get one of these. Mm. Uh, anyways, New go man. ahead, Hank. Oh, oh no, Next you're something. good. You're good. Yeah. Um, I, I actually need to, I think, I think next weekend or something, I'm going to that place that you used to put stuff on auction. I'm going to auction off a couple things. Nice. Yeah. Do it. I get, get, rid of some, get rid of some shit. Yeah. I got to get my act hey. together here. You know, I got to get ready for my, uh, my, my cyber truck. What did you know, I, you what did I give us some deals, Mr. Hank Strange? In, in private conversation this afternoon, what did I show you that was rarer than a Cybertruck? Oh, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> and I'm not kidding when I say that. Try to find that for sale somewhere. Okay, here we go. Hold on. I did. Walter it's nowhere. says this is super rare. There you go. Boom. Some well, Starbase because I believe water. Launch water. Because someone that I know oh. was actually... Someone was actually that I have, as a friend of mine, was actually on Starbase. and was handed that. 
out of the refrigerator on Starbase. Oh, cool. What is oh, what sweet. Starbase? Uh, it's part it's, of it's SpaceX. SpaceX? SpaceX. Yeah. That's where they launched the big rocket from. Yeah. What's Starbase? Boca Chica. Water. Yeah. I tried. If you can find it, please let Did me know. Did you open it? it? Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Never going to open it. <laughs> Is it is it in the fridge in the shop? I hope so. No, I, I, I no, not yet. No, I left. I'm gonna it. innocently go into that shop and drink. You're that not Starbase, touching my water. Drink that Starbase water and then go to the tap. Put some drink put your some, uh, drink your ginger beer and be by yourself over there in the corner. Yeah. Um, I don't right. see anything about it other than a couple of Twitter posts. No, you could probably only get it from Starbase. Yeah, but and, nobody talks about not, it. And there's not any empty cans out there or anything like that. Mm. That that's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty neat. Yeah, no, I cool. I was impressed. He he did a good job. I think. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let me see. I don't think I sent this to you guys. Let me see if I can find it here. Um... I should auction it off for us. I'll trade it for a cyber truck. Okay. So <laughs> speaking speaking of cyber truck, I've got something here to show you guys. Check this out. Let's see. You guys might like this. Look at this. The chicks? No. Have you seen this? Oh, God. No, I can the live, I can listen, live without this. The listen, Cyber Truck for... wrapped Cyber Truck. Uh, oh, it's wrapped. Okay, as long it's as it's wrapped. wrapped. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. it's very difficult to paint one of these. but No, it, well, it can be done, but you have to use special yeah, primers and stuff. So, <laughs> so there is a, you know, there is a Trump guy out there that bought a Cyber Truck and uh, wrapped it up. I think it looks good, you know. It's a nice promotion. Cyber Trump, there you go. He might run into Trump somewhere. I don't know if he's in Florida or not. So, you know, uh, that was on Twitter. That yeah. was on Twitter that I got that. I don't think I shared that with you guys. No, I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. Yeah. So, um, I try not to harass you guys too much. <laughs> you know. I don't give a shit. I harass as much as I want. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Did you? <laughs> did you uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I did. I send you guys pictures of uh, what here, there was another thing that this guy did to his cyber truck. I thought I sent that. Uh, you haven't sent anything about that. Uh, Has anybody done that. porn in the cyber truck yet? Oh, God. oh I'm sure that's you coming. could be the first, Walt. Yeah. Borrow Hanks. I don't... <laughs> no, hell no. Hell no. Well, you no. know, that is one thing that I do not do in vehicles. Hold on. So oh, check nothing. this out. That's check really this not. out. Look. Boom. Dunked out. It's dunked. <laughs> 30, 30s. Here's here's a serious question, Mr. Yeah. Strange. Uh -huh. Did Ford did Ford a, actually get back to you? Because I saw uh, on Twitter he was asking some Ford rep was talking to you. Yes. So yes, they did get back to me actually. Interesting. All you yeah, gotta do is make so. a stink on Twitter, and somehow they so, find you. Yeah, Ford Pro. <laughs> um, Ford Pro put me. Uh, I, someone's gonna get in touch with me. So they cool. reached out to ask me what was going on. Just to backstory on that, my electric, my electric, um, here, I'll run in a photo. The e-transit has this issue where, actually, Baby, Babyface is the one who said this, because I always thought it was a buzzing, but Babyface borrowed my e-transit one time and then said, why is it farting? <laughs> Quote. You start it up and it's like, Brrr. Yeah, so when you turn it on, it makes this, like, I guess something's not ground out properly or not shielded properly, and it makes this buzzing sound when you start, when you hit the brakes, or intermittently. Oh, I, I could probably tell you what it is. What and do you I'm think not, it is? I'm not well, like a, you're getting a, you're getting a electromagnetic interference is what you're getting. I think, yeah, yeah, there's some. You're picking up, you're picking up something off the, the vehicle is causing it to, and it's yeah. feeding back through the audio system or feeding, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, pro it's not properly shielded or whatever. And then so I've asked different Ford people, like I was at the Electrify Expo, and I asked a Ford engineer about that, and he was like, no, that's not normal. That shouldn't be happening. And then even today I went back because about eight months ago I did a video in Indiana driving one of those, and it didn't make that noise at all. I went to look at my – listen, look, listen to the video, and it didn't do it. But the Ford dealership told me, oh, we, we tried another e-transit we had in there, did the same thing, so that's normal. And I was like, uh, that doesn't make it normal. <laughs> that makes it a defect. <laughs> and, and you know what? So, there was other there was no. there was other R8s that had those problems too that you had. Was that normal? Hell no. 
Hell no. <laughs> no, it's not normal. No. no, not just the R8 had that problem. The TTRS, which I had a TTRS before I had the R8. Well, they're using the same, same navigation system. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. So Volkswagen, the whole Volkswagen group is the worst car manufacturer when it comes to software that exists on the planet Earth. You know, uh, well, probably worse than them was Fisker. Uh, I know Fisker is going out of business, so I don't know how long they're going to exist. Probably, I think Fisker is going out of business for the second or third time. So <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's funny to me. The Fisker guy actually worked for Tesla and got fired. He he was like designing Teslas at first, and then Musk fired him. Then he went and started his own company, which went out of business, and then he started another company, which went out of just is going out of business. Yeah. Now. Able Defense Mike says, I want to see a Cybertruck get lifted with a, quote, technical turret mount. Hank mm. has mentioned something about trying to do that yeah. sometime. So right. yep. stay tuned. Stay tuned on that one. Yeah, I've got two friends that have Cybertrucks right now. Mine isn't coming until the end of the year, though, towards the end of the year, unless I get lucky and, I, and it comes in early. But I ordered the Cyber Beast. So most of what you're seeing out there now is the all-wheel drive, and then the Cyber Beast. There's not that many of them um, out yet, and they're, I think they've only delivered like one or two in Florida so far. So Cyber um, Beast, yeah. So there you go. Could, could we? Do you guys want to keep talking about trucks? I I know I sent Walter that thing on the on the Ineos, which I'm waiting for Walter to buy. So I can. Yeah, you might be away. waiting. You might be waiting a while, Hank Strange. You might be waiting a while. Come on, there's a place yeah. that's got two of them, Walter. You can get this. Put Safety Harbor firearms. Oh, on I could. Over. I could have one. I could have one tomorrow if I wanted to. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's not a matter of. It's not yeah. a matter of credit or anything like that. I got yeah. fucking awesome credit. It's just, yeah. I or I should say, my wife or we both have awesome credit. Yeah. But. But do you want to spend it on that? <laughs> do I want? Do I want to shoot my wad trying, right at the I'm moment trying, here on the car? I'm trying to open up the uh, Ineos thing so I can show everyone I, here. But for the people who I don't would know love to have one, but. You know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So there's the Enios. It's a it's an old school even... Jeep. It's not a. It's not a Jeep. It's an old school pull, off road. Pull that pull that pull that J word out of your uh, vernacular. It's not a Jeep. Yeah, it's closer to uh, like a, a Defender Jeep. type thing. Defender, yeah. Defender, yeah, yeah. Not a Jeep. Oh, excuse me. It's like a Willis. It's like a Willis. No, Willis. Willis. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know what a Willis. <laughs> Trust me, I know exactly what I'm saying. Um, yeah, you, you know, just, Jeep. Just Jeep the... just put out. You know, every Easter, Jeep has like this big. Um, uh, somewhere out west, they get together and the and Jeep themselves bring out all these um, like prototypes and stuff like that that they're building. Yeah. And they had a Willis. A Willis. What? How do you say it? A Willie's Jeep? Willie's. There Willys. you go. Willie's. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's L L Y, not L O I S. <laughs> yeah. Um, just pardon my French, okay? <laughs> uh, tell that to Alu, okay? Alu. <laughs> <laughs> Alu. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I'm trying to see if I could find that because I was just looking at that over the weekend, but I don't know if. It's gotten like all posted, all the different Jeeps that were out there. But yeah, they had, they had some. How do you guys say it? Willie's? Willie's Willie's Jeep? Willie's. Willie, like your, like your Dingle yeah. Dangle. Yeah, your Willie. <laughs> yeah. Your Willie. It's your Willie's Jeep. <laughs> they had some Schlong Jeeps out there. Schlong Jeep. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Able Defense Mike says Jeep has become a joke. So uh, it's a soccer mom car. <laughs> God, that's yeah. In I, I in in it's stock. Mm-hmm. In its in its stock form, it's not really a an off roading vehicle. Sorry, I you know. Yeah. Why does I get the link? What is why is there F? Is there such a thing as a F seven fifty? No way. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's truck? the yeah, big there is, monster. Yeah, there is. Thing. Yes. Well, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Holy jeez. It's basically yeah, like truck. a mix between a, a pickup and a semi. Like it, it's right yeah, in the middle is... between a. Yeah, it's huge, huge old thing. That is ginormous. It is. They're massive. Uh, you Wait, could, there has, are guys that build, uh, that build off-roading, you yeah, could do that, like off-roading uh, camper van, that campers on them. Yeah, that has pipes on it. Massive. No, it's, yeah, it's like a semi-truck. That's oh, a tractor there. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, Seven fifty. Well, I mean, I think the Will biggest has. I've seen is like a a five fifty. But I... no, that uh, oh. that 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 blue truck that Will has is a I think a seven fifty. I think. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they use them for dump trucks, all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all yeah, kinds all of stuff. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, cool. They're big, big old things. Yeah. Yeah. Monster. Those are monster trucks. Um, yeah. Yeah, Boss Hog says yes. It was oh, on Donut man. Media last Friday. I'm not sure if he was talking about the 750. So there must be a new 750 out there. I wonder how I much guess. horsepower that is. I'll have to look that up later. <laughs> it's not the horsepower. It's, it's the, the torque. The torque. It's the torque, torque on those boards. Yes. Yeah. That's something yeah, you gotta always remember. It's not big old not... diesel monsters is what that is. So let's talk about this for a second here. Um, I saw Military Arms is a person who I saw that put this up, but he probably got it from somewhere. Uh, he says these not goofy to rape fins them? dance to a song meant to convince migrants not to rape them. <sighs> yeah, that should work. Yeah, I'm sure Rape will plummet too very very quickly. Uh, um, <laughs> is a child coming in here? Oh uh, boy, this is ridiculous. I don't know if you other got if other people out there have seen this stupid ass dance these people are doing. You know. That and some uh, don't rape in this building signs will be awesome. Don't rape in this building. <laughs> you got to go outside and do all your raping, guys. Come on. Um, yeah, 42. Uh, uh, Boss Hog says yes on the 750. 42 Chill says lots of torque. So there you go. I'm sure I'll see the Diesel Brothers or someone uh, doing something with that. And 42 yeah, Chill all says kinds of stuff like 12 gauge helps too. Yes, an anti rape, you know. That was what the joke was. It's like uh, there's there's lots of solutions here that y'all are thinking. You yeah. think they're gonna stop because of your little dance? Like y'all are retarded. Yeah, a you know what? The, the way a to... human right. Like we just should pass out twelve gauges all over the world. We we'll probably make the world a better place. Well, in this country, the problem is not the twelve gauge. It's not having a twelve gauge is the border. So, and and the illegal system that doesn't um, take care of the problem. Yeah. Um, Did you see that the president of Mexico that has some long ass name that I can't remember right now? Um, what is the president of Mexico? Did you guys see the the thing that the, the president of Mexico put out? He's basically blackmailing America to to if we want the border closed, then you know we gotta capitulate. Um, we gotta act, capitulate act, to what? Act, he has nothing yeah. to offer us. He says he'll. Cl- I think he says he'll close the border for twenty billion. Yeah, you could eat my ass for twenty billion. There was something. Oh, what is, let me let me look this up. Uh, is it the president of Mexico? I think so. President of Mexico. He's got this long ass name. Was it Juan Valdez? Uh, no. Here we go. Uh, so, like on Fox oh, News, on. I know we got we don't have that long here, but we'll talk about it when we go over. Trump reacts to Mexican president's twenty billion dollar demand from Biden administration. Uh, he said, "Trump says I wouldn't give him ten cents." Good. So, um, well, so yeah, it says I'm, I'm, here. I'm so he did an interview on sixty minutes. The president of Mexico, Mexico says, "We're not going to shut down our border until you change your policy on Cuba and change your policy on Venezuela." Yeah, fuck oh, so he's like, so the so the Mexican president's a commie too. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Uh, Trump said, "Well, he said much more than that. He said he wants ten billion, essentially, just to talk. Ten billion to talk. Oh, oh, this is easy fix. Easy fix on this one. <laughs> I've been, you know what? We're we're gonna have to take this break and come back and talk about. I've been giving people the the blueprint on how to deal." With the Mexico border, no one listens. We'll talk about it. With Arms List, you can shop the extensive list of local and nationwide firearms classified. Now with more confidence because of their built-in firewall. For only $6.99 a month for personal use or $30 a month for business vendors. So when you're in the market, please consider Arms List. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Move My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like Arms List. All right. So, yeah. Um... Let's see. Let's get into it. By the way, his name is, here we go. Here's his name. Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. 
That's his name, if you guys want to look it up. Valdez. Uh, A-M-L-O. AMLO, I guess. How about just short for J-O? You know what J-O stands for? Jag-off. To jag off? <laughs> yeah. You jag off? What are you talking about there? You know what I'm um, saying? <laughs> yeah, the, the, if, you, if you look at... There's a bunch of snippets, or you can look at that whole thing from... Uh, from 60 Minutes that he did. This guy's out of his mind. Yeah, this is pretty, fucking literally he's out of his mind. Yeah, this is pretty easy to deal with, but as uh, I think it was, uh, well, who said it? Night Train says Mexican president is working with the cartels. And 42 yeah. Chill says because Brandon is weak. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, we could, we could stop this. First of all, I've told people now for years and years, if you go back in this podcast, you will hear me saying... We have to put zombie actors on the border. No. Nobody's coming over that border. Every single person trying to get into America is afraid of zombies. I just had a better idea. It'll make it a lot safer <laughs> to swim here in Florida. We take all the gators all, out? All the gators that are nuisance gators and drop them in the Rio Grande. Make, you know make a trench. <laughs> make a trench. Yeah. <laughs> and and yeah. they'd, be, they'd be feeding... They'd be very healthy gators. No, this is real. E- <laughs> I mean, this is real easy. Just close. We just close. Listen, if it's not a, it's not a thing, man. Uh, Trump did get the Mexicans to work with. Oh them. yeah, very easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it, here's, it, go ahead, Walt. Mm-hmm. You can't, you can't have a president who's a geriatric fuck that doesn't know which way is up. You know, he just, he does whatever he's told. That man does. He don't know which way's up. Mm-hmm. He can yeah. give two shits. You know, he, everything, he everything he's he gives doing, lots of everything in his pants, everything he's doing is he's trying to cover for the real story with that bunch and how he, how he's the laundering of the money and the stealing of this and the stealing of that. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. But it's all, all right. it's, it's all doable. First of all, I think it's a big deliberate thing that's going on right in the world. Uh, Mexico is deliberately doing this. Um, the, the folks on the left are deliberately doing what they're doing. You can, know? I, can I can I make it a, a, a guess? Can I make mm-hmm. a little guess at things? Mm-hmm. You want to make sure you want to you want to bet that 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 Mexicali president is on the take for China? You want to um, bet? Listen, it's very very easy <laughs> to do this. Right now, even test like the whole. So China's about to build car plants in Mexico. Lots of American, uh, at least several American well, companies, are building in Mexico. Right in terms of car manufacturers, there's they have Chinese companies planning on going over to Mexico to build there. Why? Because they can build cheaper in Mexico and then bring it Why? into America. Oh, that's real easy though. We you're, can really stop for, that. We can make for, no one build in Mexico if you like triple the tariffs. No one has for, to build there. You're forgetting that whole agreement with Mexico on trade. Remember that? Mm-hmm. That's why they're doing it. Then they don't have to deal with half the shit they got to do if they bring it right from China. Don't we have that same agreement with Mexico and Canada? That's why everyone yeah, is that, going to... Yeah, that whole that goofy shit they did back, that was yeah. probably during the Clinton administration or something. Yeah. 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 You start shutting that shit down? Uh-huh. Oh, close the... I mean, people will scream here too, but close the border from all the trucks and everything else and mm-hmm. watch what happens. Yeah. I, I, I you know, 100% and... agree. Um, stop letting people go back and forth to Mexico. Shut off Mexico. Make it exactly like Cuba. <laughs> shut shut down the whole, uh, you know, the Mexicans coming here to make money and going back home. Yeah. You, go to, you go to Mexico, you stay there. <laughs> Even Americans. You take your ass over to Mexico, you stay there. Don't come we're, back. Yeah, the problem well, I mean, is we're not even shutting down the illegals coming in. No. no. So good luck shutting down the, but the, it could be the done. illegal. Yeah, but like you're saying, oh, they, they, they could walk they could walk all over Biden and they know it. America needs like a president that everyone is scared shitless of. They're like, oh, this guy crazy. Yeah, it doesn't help anything. It doesn't hurt anything. You, you, you know the country's going to get better when all the celebrities go, that's it. I'm moving out. They, I mean, I yeah, out. well, we had that. We they had promised that. that. No, they promised, but they don't move. Unfortunately, yeah. none of them leave. So yeah. that's just bullshit. They, yeah. No, but we have to get to the point where they're like, no, nah, you know what? For realsies, I'm leaving. For reals. I would yeah. love it. I would love for yeah. Hollywood to move to, to France. You know, life did go on when the Screen Actors Guild was on strike. I yeah. Normal. Everything was normal. Yeah. Another Nothing thing, we, we, the intelligence we have, we know where these fentanyl laboratories uh, and all that shit are. Uh, we could, you know. We could, we could send ass missiles so easily. Yeah. You know, let's get with the real 
technology here. Just simple little drone with a simple little, a little simple little bomb. You fly right over the top of, of mm -hmm. Jose what, Gonzalez, whatever the mm -hmm. hell his name is. You drop it right in his window. Mm -hmm. Kaboom. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy enough to stop this if people want to do it. You don't have to. You could save. You could save ten, twenty, thirty billion, however much people want to be bribed. And yeah, that shit won't. That shit won't go down. I mean, with the technology of the with the with the FP first person yeah, FPV, mm -hmm. whatever those those drones that the Ukrainian our Ukrainian brother developed, and we are lagging behind in seriously. Mm -hmm. um, we could take mm -hmm. care of all those bad boys. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't even know what hit them. Yeah, I mean the drones. The drones are pretty easy. It's just that we got banned, so <laughs> we got banned in America with drones. Do you guys remember that when a long time ago, I had a drone and then they started all this. It wasn't drone that long ago. Yeah, and no, I was like, you know what? Ago. I'm I'm getting out of this drone thing. The other day, I was um I was at a um an RV place. You got a bootleg drone. Yeah. Yeah, I was at an RV place in Gainesville. And someone out there wanted to put up a, a drone just to show like the gathering and everything that we were, that we were at. Yeah. And it wouldn't it wouldn't even let the drone take off. It wouldn't even let the rotor start up because we weren't that far from the airport, and they could. Sh so all these drones are programmed with areas that you won't even be able to take them off. You know, you won't even be able to launch them. So, yeah, even if that was your backyard, you would not be able to launch that that drone in your own backyard. I hear you. I know. I hear you. Okay. So, I mean, <laughs> big. Yeah. It, it, and we're listen, not supposed to, and you're supposed to go 55 in a lot of places too. Yeah. But you know, but, but, but see, but listen, <laughs> right? to me, that has a parody with certain things. Like if you let them start, if you let the government get into drones and they put that stuff in there where they can shut things off, they'll do that with everything else they want to. Sure. Everything else they want to that's electronic, like how they're always pushing electronic guns, you know, they'll shut shit off. Well, so, yeah, you know, electric cars. I mean, yeah, all, yeah, anything could be shut off. Anything could be shut off. I've no, seen. No, have no, you seen no, any of the? No, 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 yeah, no, they no, could no, shut. No. Have you seen any of the police chases where they use an EMP on the on a car? Have you seen that? Well, no, sure. I, that's my. That's yeah. my idea from a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, I hope you patented that, Walter. <laughs> I I would use an EMP. It's called a, a APIT. Mm-hmm. Armor piercing incinerary tracer. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! A, a couple of well placed shots and it's all over with. Just put like fifties of the police cars. That's all. That's all you need. No, no, no. Yeah. We don't want to do that. No, no. no. Uh -huh. but, um, yeah. But you know, you've seen the Israelis, and then the Israelis especially, they've perfected that ability to um, off the guy driving the car down the road. You know, mm -hmm. you see the car driving down the road. All of a sudden, the missile hits it. The ass missile hits it. And... <laughs> didn't um, um, didn't Israel drop ass missiles on someone today? I thought they did. Hold on. Oh, who knows? They I probably know they, did. Yeah, I know they did. I know. I know they did it in Lebanon over the weekend. They took out. Yeah. A, um, check it out. Iranian officials accuse Israel of a deadly attack on Iran's consulate in Syria. Oh, that happened? Iran really? Jordan, yeah, that. Iran said Monday that Israel killed two of its generals and several others in an airstrike on the Iranian consulate in the Syrian uh, capital of Damascus. I think this was a guy who was um, helping, you know, get a whole bunch of um, of weapons out to Hamas. To Hamas. You know how you fix that, though? So, yeah, Iran? Mass missiles for that dude. You know how you fix that, Iran? You stop being a... Uh, agitator in in that part of the world, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden uh, they're not going to. They they like well, they like no. doing what they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it yeah. for for those that are old enough to remember, once the wall came down with the Russians and they lost their empire, they lost all their money, all the chaos, most of the chaos in the world from them stopped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a it was an amazing thing. Yeah, most most uh, of it, most of it. Yeah. And Cuba and Central yeah. America and all these other yeah, places. Yeah. yeah. We still we still getting some we still getting some uh... the, the Chinese were the Chinese at that time were still running around in their German Mao jackets. They hadn't got all uh <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah. We're still I think I sent this to you guys as well. Havana syndrome. Did you hear about that? I just That's old that's old news, my friend. That's old yeah. news. Um reports. But no, they they've uh, so the article says they've linked it to something. I didn't read the article. Oh, okay. To, to... Okay, let's let's go let's let's let me see. If I was pointing a microwave device 
of some mm. sort at your building, mm -hmm. wouldn't you have enough technology to detect where that microwave device was coming from? You would think we would know all about it, right? They did. They knew the Russians were doing this I mean, the whole time. He couldn't but... stop some dudes with razor blades allegedly getting on planes. I, uh, just listen to me, Hank Strange. Yeah, they're so that. scared. They're so they're so scared to point the finger right at the perpetrator that they'll let their own people get baked alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is about. This is not well, about they cheap, didn't know. Right? Yeah. I well, agree. I mean, you know, maybe it'll interrupt some trade or something or some agreement yeah. you have with the Ruskies. But what? Look what's got. Look what that's got us now. It's got us nothing. Yeah. Zero. Boss Hog says both my Chevys can remotely sh uh, be remotely shut off. Welcome on stop. Yeah. The newer cars, a lot of them can be, yes. Um, yeah. Older cars, uh, no. Newer, like going back to OnStar has been on vehicles since, what, 95, 96? My Suburban has OnStar. We don't have a current yeah. subscription, but that doesn't mean they can't shut it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, Whether you have a uh, as long as it's not. wired into the, the car, yeah. you can use now, it. Now, they, they, yeah. have, they have resisted... Um, Government tyranny? Um, would you would you call meddling. it tyranny? <laughs> Medal, meddle, meddling somewhat. Yeah. from what I understand. Yeah, but yeah, what, you, what, that the unconstitutional meddling in my vehicle. Yeah. You, <coughs> once you have OnStar, though, it doesn't matter whether you pay or not. They can always listen. They, they have press, access to you. All if you your press that OnStar button, it'll work, even if you're not paying. Yeah, yeah, and then they'll charge you out the butt for it. But yeah, yeah. Well, or they'll sign you it, up right there while you're dying. You're like, oh, while you're me dying, up? yeah, sir. Uh, <laughs> seems that you've been in an accident. Uh, Would you like it's to sign up? $199 a month. Are you okay with that? Please send help. Please. Your arm is hanging off. Like, yeah, they're sure. like, all right, $799 a month. But the cops can get them to shut shit off no matter what did, from that on-star. Did you guys see that video of the guy driving down the beach flipping the FJ? Oh, you, yes, I saw it? that. that is and he goes yeah, flying out that. the he flies yeah. out the window. Oh, my God, yeah. That's, oh, damn it. Did I send that to you guys? No, right? No, I just saw that on the internet. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram, but I don't know if it's still on Instagram for us to see. Um, Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, there, there we go. Oh, here we go. There's the boy. <laughs> he just got a bath and he's ready for bed. He always tries to look innocent right after a bath, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't do anything. I'm totally innocent. I didn't commit any crimes. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm um, trying to see if I can see that. I've seen that video on on Instagram. It's re you, you can see this guy coming down on a he's in a FJ um, and he's coming down the beach. That's Saudi Arabia or something. It flips and you see a dude come flying right out. They he don't. They don't. Yeah. He huh? isn't a white rag when he comes flying out. Like a they white don't rope. give a shit out there. They they trash cars yeah. left and right. Yeah. You know, they the the dudes that were on the beach were like, "Oh, that's Hassan. He always does." That. And then <laughs> yeah, they went down yeah, and got like, him. He does it all the time. <laughs> they went down, he came. He walked. He walked away from that. Did you see that? Uh, my uncle was contracting over in one of the countries, mm -hmm. uh, and he was saying that, that yeah, they you drive through the desert and there are wrecked abandoned vehicles, cars. nice ones yeah. that are just completely abandoned, and mm -hmm. nobody. I mean, somebody technically owns them, but nobody owns them. Like, you could just go take it if you wanted to. If they weren't completely wrecked. They just don't oh, give a shit. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. It's a, it's a bunch of stuff if you're looking. So here's this guy in this FJ. I can't zoom in on this, but you see it? Watch out, and, Ackman! Oh, here we go. <laughs> and whoop! <whoa! laughs> Dude, he's not. Oh, this is Kuwait. And this thing says, this. look, he gets right up. Well, he landed in the and then water. He leaves what do you it? want? Look, he's hopping a little bit. He's hopping yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he fucked his leg up but a little he's, bit. He's Probably... walking up. And here comes the guys like, oh, man. Ahmed, you're right. always doing this bullshit. Get out of the way, Mohammed. <laughs> here we go. It's good. This is good. It's looping again. It's good. Here we go. <laughs> run, oh, okay. Forrest, run. Let me see. I need to find a better one. Did you not see this, Patrick? <laughs> I've seen it. I saw it on, on Twitter, I think, the other That's day. Yeah, here we go. There, Let's see if this way. is it's better. This one looks a little clearer. Here we go. And boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> he did a triple flip into the wall. He's so lucky. This yeah. Dude so, this dude is so... This is so going to be like, I knew I shouldn't have worn my seatbelt. 
I wonder if he went through yeah, the glass yeah, or the glass was probably. Oh, no, he looked like he came out the side on that one. This one doesn't show you with him walking to his buddies. He the, with the video I saw, he literally walks up to his buddies and they help him get off the beach. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? I remember when I moved to the country here, people here would tell me that all the time. Oh, yeah, I don't wear no damn seatbelt. That's how I survive. If I get into an accident, you want to be thrown out the vehicle. Um, no. no, you don't. You do not want to get thrown out of your vehicle. Just as fast as you're thrown out that You want all that with... metal to still be around you, yourself. and you're securely in the seat. Thank you. He might have rolled right over Muhammad there real quick. He got yeah, lucky. He was lucky. He was very. He was lucky for a lot of different things. He was on the beach, uh, all of that stuff. That the sand was soft and the water and. Oh, I can't hear anything. Sorry, my headphones are yeah. got pulled out. Give me a second. Oh, uh, yeah. oh so cleaning Romy, kits. Shake them. And oh, there we go. Oh. And the, <laughs> <laughs> straight into the testing device. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing but trouble. They jiggle, they shake, yeah. Who's that? That's you. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for this kid to grow up so I could tell him just how much. I'm like, you know what? You were such a troublesome kid. You know, you were always sleeping and your dad couldn't uh, leave anywhere on time. <laughs> you know, you were always messing him up, you. You evil little, like the, what is it? Is it Damien? And meanwhile, this, I'm being sarcastic because this is like the most innocent little he's, baby he's ever. He's so easy going. He's yeah, so easy guy. going. <laughs> yeah. But don't let him actually get around anything. Because. Everything is his to play with. Yeah. And so how was he over at your place, Walter, with walking around? Did you see him walking around? First when Patrick set him on the damp ground. Mm -hmm. He didn't like <laughs> that damp, muddy ground at first. But. <laughs> you know um, I'm laughing. Patrick is that dad. You know that dad that will let his kids eat germs. You're like, oh, that's good for him. Go ahead. It's yeah, good. It, yeah. Eat yeah, that it'll right him. there. It's fine. <laughs> that we gave Patrick. him some lead, him some... lead and carbon. We try not to feed him. <laughs> yeah. But dirt we gave him yeah. some bullets to play with, and he was fine. Yeah, Playing he was perfectly bullet. happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell how Patrick was raised, man. He. He was, he, cause you know, like every generation you get more and more protective of your kids. So just imagine okay, cool. like Patrick was just raised like, like a savage out in Tampa, man. Was there, was there <laughs> even good. like, was there even running water indoors in Tampa? Yes, you... <laughs> we had running water. I had, we had indoor plumbing. When I was very, very little, we actually did have a well, uh, uh -huh. but we moved off of that after, before I think I even turned one, I think we moved off the well. Oh, okay. we had a, yeah. I mean, we Tampa's had a, like, a pretty old, good night. Uh, yeah, Tampa's a pretty old part of. Uh, what's the? I think so. Other than St. Augustine's, the oldest part of Florida, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. That's the oldest uh -huh. city in the whole country. So yeah. after St. Augustine comes what? Jacksonville? No. Or Tampa? No. Is Tampa older than Jacksonville? Because it's a port. Well, both of them are port cities. Oh, all three yeah. of them are port. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm uh, not sure. So I'm yeah. Not sure. St. Augustine would have been like a port, but that was like way back. Like uh, St. Augustine, port. then Tallahassee, Jacksonville, Pensacola, Flagler Beach, Micanopy, Ferdinand Beach, and oh. Donnell. Oh, this is telling about all the different areas. That's in North Florida. They, they split it up by area. That's hard to say. Then. Oh, okay. There you go. That's We uh, we threw those uh, ear pro on him. Mm -hmm. He didn't even flinch. I was shooting uh, the infield right in front of him. He, he didn't even flinch. He didn't care. Oh, yeah, but he was sitting right next to Patrick. and. Patrick pulled the trigger and I watched him. He just didn't even didn't even acknowledge nothing. the fact the gun went off. Yeah. Okay. Nope, nothing. It was crazy. And, he, and he's not trying to he's not trying to take off the air pro or anything, right? A little he, bit, a little bit. Patrick was Patrick was shooting his AR and and I look over it and it goes boom and he had already taken his ears off. Oh, you know, and it's like, but he didn't no, even he didn't even like learn. go. <laughs> said or nothing. He just sat there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay. he'll learn. He'll learn. Yeah, yeah. I was worried. I, I was seriously concerned that I, like, oh, God, I damaged his hearing because he wasn't re responding to me for a while. And I was like, oh, He's ignoring God, you. <laughs> yeah, he was ignoring me. He's, this, this kid has selective hearing, and he chooses to ignore me if he doesn't want to talk to me. 
he thinks I'm going to tell him to do something. He goes, I, I don't hear we're you. Coming, we're coming understand. right back. We're taking a quick break. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to keep the Who Moved My Freedom podcast going without the support of a DAO or decentralized autonomous organization like Tusk Crypto. Tusk Cryptocurrency is a firearm friendly e-commerce option for online payment transactions secured on the blockchain. So when you're in the crypto market, please consider Tusk. T-U-S-C. Yeah, so you're talking about Chromie. I wonder where he gets that selective hearing from. Because uh I that's not for me, I don't think, uh, because bullshit. I pay attention I pay attention to everything. There could be like multiple conversations going on and I'm kinda hearing it all. Now Yeah, I didn't say I you weren't hearing. All that? <laughs> do I yeah, respond? Exactly. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, I won't always respond. <laughs> yeah. If somebody's so. talking to me, I do respond. Oh, oh, hold on. We got to pick. Oh, this is the good. You had the good. I was wondering what Air Pro was on him. Yeah, no, I had the good stuff on him, so he didn't even care. Yeah, that cranium, that is a big cranium like that. It's a big, beautiful. That's why he's so smart, man. Got all that room for them brains in there. (laughs) You got a big CPU. Uh, That's right. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. I don't think that 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 brain is only growing from here. I don't think you know the the fun. Oh my god, he's becoming so fun. Anybody out there that's listening that is either younger or on the fence about kids, oh, there's so much fun. The older he gets, the more fun he's becoming. He's learning now to like enjoy watching cartoons. So the hour before mommy comes home from work, it's seven to seven forty-five. I start cooking. We'll sit and turn on cartoons, and he will just lay in, like, lay against me and cuddle and watch cartoons for like an hour. And it is, it is the absolute best time of my life. Um, and treasure when it, every moment because oh, uh, that's not forever, my friend. I know. And then uh, when it comes to like boy stuff, he loves boy stuff. You give him hammers and files and chisels and tools, he bullets. just wants to go banging at bullets. Yeah, he loves it. He <laughs> loves tools and stuff. Yeah, awesome. he's very magazines he's very inquisitive yeah <laughs> yeah just wait until you can't get his ass to take showers or clean oh, up his room god oh god i never <laughs> I had know. that problem oh yeah okay <laughs> no <laughs> yeah bo is not bo is not permitted. oh my god yeah okay yeah we that, we when, will when not they, have when a, they're, a, when they're a growing through their you. growth spurts and all that kind of stuff and hair is <sighs> starting to grow in places it's n- it's not uh, you want to hear something fun that's Huh? Go ahead. Stick a deodorant and say, use it. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Uh, his grandmother has already spoiled him. We were in North Carolina on vacation, and he was kicking his feet over towards She was sitting in the backseat, and he's kicking his feet over, and she's sitting there rubbing his feet. And he's like, oh, this feels great. The other day, we are <laughs> driving somewhere, and he's trying to get my attention. And I'm like, what do you want? And he puts his feet right in my face, and I start rubbing Rub his feet, toes. Cool. And he's, he sits back, and he's just like, Thank you. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I was like, you little turd. <laughs> yeah. He's been trained. Night Train says, enjoy your children when they are young because they grow up and they turn into I know. monsters. I know. So there you go. It's still like my kids, my kids are grown, but they're, you know, they have their moments. They still have their good moments where Lola doesn't feel like killing anyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Uh, those are getting to be far and few in between, but you know. Oh, wait, it should, so, if, huh? if it's like most kids, it should come back around eventually as they get a little bit older. Because I know I, you know, in my my high school into college days, I didn't want to be around my parents, but now in my thirties, oh. I I I told my mom I don't want her to leave. I love when she's around because the baby loves her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boss Hog says, I'm beefing with my little nephew. We are having Nerf gun wars, which is fun. That Go- sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Nerf guns are so crazy yeah. now, man. Like, I've seen some badass Nerf guns out there. So, Have you seen the – Have you speaking of crazy, have you seen the advertisement I saw on the internet for this Chinese – it looks like a spear gun, and it's mm-hmm. like a big slingshot with the bands you pull back like a spear gun and lock it into this launcher – in the ad they were showing, they were shooting live animals in this ad. What? what? Did you, no! They Where were, did you see this? Were, I don't know. I don't know if it's still up there. If it's been pulled down, but they were was shooting it on, like birds. Facebook or something. You two. They were shooting a duck. They shot a duck. They shot, and they killed these animals. When they hit the bird, the feathers went. Was this on a, like a Facebook ad? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? It's a cool looking. Uh, I'll have to go looking thing, for but, it. 
but I and, thought I was just shocked because you don't normally see that kind of stuff. No, here in the U.S., we do not kill animals on ads. <laughs> what, they what, pulled is, a... what was it called? What was it called? Like, I can't put in weird Chinese rubber band uh, gun. Uh, maybe big Chinese slingshot or something. I don't know. It looked like a spear gun with with the bands, and you pull them back and lock it, and it had that kind of link to it. It was about three foot long. Hmm. And man, it just walloped these critters. <laughs> I mean, if they're if they're doing any kind of real advertising, we should be able to find it. They were breaking glass and shooting animals and all kinds of things. Uh, I, yeah, I don't okay, know. I'm I'd have searching to find for it, but I'm not getting anything coming up. Yeah, I'll have to look and see if I can find it. But uh, uh, I was just like, man, I want one of those. But these these ads you see on Facebook, half of them are scams, anyways. So yeah, um, they are. You send so the you money, you, and you saw never this get on anything. Facebook. I think it was on Facebook. Spear gun. The Chinese love advertising their bullshit on Facebook. Yeah. Because there's no, uh, once once they get your money, you're too bad, so sad. Pretty much, I think you're right. Um, yeah. It's not this, right? Well, that is a spear gun. No, that okay, so it's not that, though. Okay. What color was it? Do you remember? It was black. You, I think like, you were oh. asking some crazy, you think Walt's going to remember that? Come on. <laughs> Um. Okay. Yeah. I'll look for it. Yeah. I might pop back up on my feed because I looked at it before. Yeah. I mean, it, it's probably something from Timu. Oh, I, I found say, it. I, I found. I found it already. Oh, Did you send really? Us a link. Send us a link. Um. So we could or give us a name. To it's it's on it's an Amazon thing. Holy cow! It's Amazon. What's it called? Um, okay, it's called a slingshot rifle. Slingshot rifle. Amazon, right? Yep, on Amazon. Hmm. I can have one on April 4th. Is it this thing? Yeah, that thing. They were kicking some freaking bird ass with that thing. I tell you what, <laughs> bird ass. <laughs> look at look at look at look at look at the dude shooting it, man. He's looking for some dinner there. Come on, this is interesting. <laughs> How much is this thing? I was like one eighty. One eighty. There says one twenty nine. Hmm. Yeah, this thing was scary uh, when they were hitting shooting Let's things. Let's look at the video. They have a video here. Let's see if we can get this video to play. Oh, it's got a, it's got a shoulder. Um, let's see how oh, he loads it. Yeah, watch oh, how. Look, I see. Look. Oh, interesting. Oh, they weren't. Sh- it looks at a sh- collapsible stock and everything. Look at that thing, man. Yeah, interesting. He's ready. Yeah. To, he's ready to take the hordes on. Let's see here. Yeah, this is a zombie apocalypse weapon right here. Didn't uh, that didn't thing Denzel, is- Wash- Denzel Washington have this in that movie? <laughs> this Isn't is this- a Hamas weapon. Isn't this how Denzel, <laughs> how he got that cat? That was on the ad. What is that, what is that movie with Denzel where he kills a cat in the beginning and he skins him and eats him, cooks him up? Book of Eli? I have uh, no book, idea. Yeah, Book of Eli, Book of Eli. Oh, I was yeah. right, okay. Yeah, that's a good movie. I've never actually watched it. I know that, I know the ending, so I've never actually watched it. Yeah, it's a good, it's, it's based on a couple of different things, like some Kurosawa type stuff, because he's like, you know, Kurosawa did those movies with the blind samurais and stuff like that. It's kind of like a blind samurai movie. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. It's a good movie, uh, Book of Eli. One of Denzel Washington's better movies. I can't really think of a bad Denzel Washington movie, so... Um, yeah. Slingshot Rifle? Yeah, Slingshot Sling. Rifle seems cool. Why haven't you made one of those already, Walter? You need to... I don't know. I, double I'm or not going to make it up. a... Yeah. I'm not the Chinese make are already it importing it. Yeah, I'm not going to make it if Chairman Mao makes it already. I'm not. Doing yeah, it. there's yeah, a bunch of different ones on there. Look at this one. There's a I'm bunch of different you, ones on here. This one has a red laser. Huh? <laughs> this is a red laser. <laughs> Patrick, God. if this ha- you put some night vision on this thing, you put some nods on it. We're gonna go <laughs> night hunting. <laughs> Jesus. Put some IR balls on that thing and you'll be yeah. giving trace. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy yeah. moly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's our slingshot. Pretty cool. our, okay, people ask, are slingshots legal in the U.S.? 
not in New York. Um, Wait, they're they're actually not legal in New York? Are you kidding me? No, in New York City, you cannot have a slingshot. Yeah, a whole bunch it's a of fucking slingshot. But I thought a bow and arrow I, was legal. Is a bow and arrow legal in New York or no? I have no idea, but I just know you can't have a slingshot. Hmm. That's bizarre. Let me see. Bow and arrow. Let me see. Um, I can you imagine growing bow up in a place where you arrow. can't have any fun? No fun for you. Legal. You got to oh, live yeah. with people surrounding you on all sides, including your roof and seal, your and your floor, and you can't have any fun. No fun. Okay, so here it says um, it is not illegal to own a bow and arrow in New York City, and bows and arrows are not listed in the penal code's definitions of dangerous weapons. However, <laughs> a person who uses a bow and arrow in a dangerous way could be charged with reckless endangerment, so be very careful as to how uh, and where you shoot. So the reason why I kind of knew this is because my brother Anonymous, you know, he's like a survivalist, but he had to go into New York all the time, and he always carried a bow and arrow in his car, just for the in case um, of the apocalypse. Demo Ratch has already done a video on these. Mistakes. I saw that, yeah. Oh, really? Demo, yeah, Demo Ranch. Yeah, Bless yeah his Shooting Gallery says slingshots are also illegal in mass. Oh, oh I'm sure. What in the fuck? How do you grow up as a kid in these states? I don't understand it. Yeah. I mean, this is why this is why Joe has run away to the arms of Safety Harbor Firearms. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cut carefully keeping a, a, a close eye on Joe as he oh, Joe, as, yeah. as he turns into as he as Joe, he, as he morphs into Florida man. He's doing yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. He's perfect Florida man. He's a poster. The poster boy for Florida man. Poster man for, for uh... um, Night Train says slingshots are also illegal in New Jersey. What the? Well, <laughs> birds of the feather flock together. That kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. That is yeah, well. that is kind of crazy. All the places, but yeah. So bow and arrow is a good, safe uh, thing for you to have in the apocalypse in your trunk of your car yeah. in New York City. What else would you have? A inflatable, an inflatable boat, like a, some kind of inflatable dinghy or something, is also a good idea in New York City. Because, see, if some shit goes down in New York, there's, you, there's, you're in, especially in the city, you're surrounded with water, so you can't get off the fucking island. You know, you'd be just like Gilligan. You can't get off the island, so you have to have <laughs> something that you could traverse water to get out of New York City. That, so that's good to have. Also, like a, a little foldable bicycle or skateboard or some kind of transportation like that because your car is going to be worth shit when everyone else in the city is uh, jammed up in traffic. You need one What Would Walt Do rifle mm -hmm. with some sort of suppressor. You need a bucket of ammo. Um, and then you need some night vision. And you scavenge at night, you take what you need, you come back home, you sleep during the day, you have somebody watch, that, that's what you do. So, you go out during the day. <laughs> it's like uh, The Warriors. You ever saw that movie? Yeah. It's an old movie. You're um, scavenging at night. <laughs> yeah. You know, so when 9-11 happened, my younger brother, uh, he's a teacher, he was in the Bronx. He had to walk home from the Bronx to Brooklyn. Uh, miles? I've heard that the people had to walk miles. miles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, my yeah. My, my brother-in-law was in, in Manhattan. He walked mm -hmm. back to their place in um, Forest Hills. So, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, um, oh, Ken from k and Arms is in the chat. Shout out to Ken. Hey, k and Let's hey. see what he says. He says, uh, Amazon search for Benjamin Bulldog. Check out that air rifle for hunting. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, you I know this one, of these, uh, No, I mean, uh, there's some serious air rifles out there. I mean, That is an expensive air rifle, but yeah, I could see that being a... It's got good reviews. 45 um, caliber. Holy fuck. <laughs> there's 50 caliber air rifles too. Yeah. I mean. Oh, yeah. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Bullpup. <laughs> it's What's a bullpup. It's a thousand bucks. Yeah. Expensive well, air rifle. That's nice. But I mean, it's actually, it's made to hunt with. It's not a yeah. plinking toy. Yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah. And speaking of the, uh, speak, speak of the devil, Walter, you, uh, did you bring your air rifles back with you? Oh, they're at the shop. Yeah, the BB guns. Yeah. Oh, I was so jealous. Walter found his dad's two old BB guns, and that pump oh. one was cool as hell. What, which uh, what BB guns are we talking about here? 
These are two Daisy BB guns. One oh, is a cool. pump. You pump one time, and it's a spring pump thing. Mm -hmm. And it's an old one too, because it's got. Are they Red Riders or or different? Uh, one uh, one of yeah. them was a Red Rider. Oh wow! Yeah, kind of like wow. that. Yeah, and so I'm gonna wow. fix the pump one for sure, because mm. I had one the like pump? that when I was a child. If, Walter's Walter's really funny. Walter's like he pumps it, and he goes. Well, there's, there's no way it's going to be loaded. And he aims it over the thing, pulls the trigger, and your BB comes shooting out. Of course, it's loaded. Did it belong to your dad? It's loaded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my boys have Red Riders. Yeah, they still have Here you go. It's a, yeah, uh, I, just, I found it on their website. It looks like it's a Model 25 pump BB. Gun. That's the pump really? one with the Woodstocks? Yeah. With the Woodstocks. Really what, cool. What, I've never seen what, one, but it was really neat. What vintage is that? Does it say on there? Now, they still make them to this day, so you'd have to look back. I mean, from everything I've seen about those, the less plastic they have, the older they're going to be. Right, 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 mm -hmm. right. So, I'll and that thing looked things. like wood and metal, so I'm guessing pretty old. Well, mm -hmm. I got my pump one with plastic stocks back in the '70s. Uh, that was given to me by my. It definitely uh, is older than that for sure. Yeah. So, when did it. they stop making wood? That's the they question. still do. They oh. still make them in wood. They oh, just they have still... a lot of plastic. Oh, okay. okay. So, like, and I have downstairs, get... I bought a Red Rider mm -hmm. of shits and giggles one time, like, uh, six mm -hmm. or eight months ago. And uh, it still functions, but they have lots and lots and lots of plastic on them. Like, it is a lot of plastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're awesome guns. The ones that my, my sons have, they still work. They still have them. Yeah, they're fun. They just, they don't shoot worth the shit because they're just mm -hmm. a little air rifle but they're, they're really fun yeah yeah um so night train put up this list he says uh so i guess he's talking about where sling shots are illegal massachusetts duluth minnesota uh missouri new jersey new york columbus ohio philadelphia pennsylvania rhode island charleston south carolina knoxville Johnson City, Tennessee, Salt Lake County, Utah Falls Church, Virginia, Madison, Madison Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Did I mean, uh, did y'all know that uh, automatic knives, uh, switchblades, are federally legal if you are one-handed or one-armed or have some sort of hand disability where you can't open a pocket knife? There's, there's actually federal statute that mandates that automatic uh, knives are part of the ADA if you have some sort of hand disability. That makes complete sense. It makes yeah. total sense. I, I would love for somebody to go to California or New York and prove that point. It would be hilarious. But yeah, it's it's there's some ADA mandate that they are 100% legal if you got a hand problem. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of times when you're, when you're cutting something, you have to hold it with one hand so you can't open the knife with mm -hmm. the other so yeah. and pistol braces you know i mean they in my opinion are legal for everyone uh, now correct me if i'm wrong mm -hmm. out of all the brace lawsuits the ada mm -hmm. thing with the brace has not been used has it i don't think that's been I litigated yet that's yeah. that's i think their last their last goal post because is be you know if, if i gotta have a damn handicapped parking spot in a handicapped bathroom <laughs> yeah. and a handicapped I mean, you think about all this stuff. It's like, well, mm -hmm. what about the poor guy that's only got one good wing? Well, listen, I got to get a handicapped machine gun, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I can't pull the trigger enough. <laughs> I need help. Um, I only get one good pull every month. <laughs> yeah. yeah here's, here's something that I want to talk about before we forget. It's a little bit of a shift here, but it's still weird. Uh, a government proposal oh. to kill half a million owls sparks controversy. Uh, Why would they the kill US, owls? So a proposal because... by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to kill roughly half a million barred owls to protect the spotted owl has conservationists and animal uh, welfare advocates debating the moral issue of killing one species to protect uh, another. At what point I, do we just go, ah, they're fighting each other, well, that's good enough. The, the one they want to kill domin is dominating the other yes, one. So, all... Isn't that natural? But... That's that's what I feel like. That that's how well, ecosystems work. Yeah. Let me let me tell you what what can happen. So what are the owls are what are owls real good at? Um, eating. Owls, they can. They owls can are real good at eating rodents. Rodent. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. But yes, yeah. yes. So 
it, it's 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 this crazy. I'm not like one of these, you know, tree. I don't care squirrel. what I don't care about the color of the owls. I <laughs> I, I, I grew yeah. up I grew up in this time when they they wanted they didn't want to do the logging of the old growth forest because yeah. it was affecting some owl or something. Yeah. And and the truth was known years later that those yeah. critters don't like the old growth forest. They yeah. like the new growth yeah. forest because I, there's more critters in it. I dream of a world where white owls and brown owls and spotted owls can't and they live owls? together? Exactly. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> what is going on in the world? Just let the owls, wh- whoever lives, lives. Ca- keep a couple of the ones that are dying somewhere. There you go. We'll be right back. The Who Moved My Freedom podcast is made possible by our partners at 2A Commerce. Veteran owned and with over 20 years experience, 2A Commerce is the leader in custom e-commerce and web application development in the shooting sports industry. Clients include major brands such as Guard Dog Body Armor, Sylvan Arms, AccuFire Technologies, The Tactical Games, Warrior Knife Company, and yours truly, Hank Strange. Visit 2A Commerce and support this show by supporting them. Once again, visit the number 2 acommerce.com. Yeah, I love owls. Uh, listen, you know what? Owls are awesome. Yeah, owls. Mm-hmm. And in Florida, we have a lot of owls. Mm-hmm. I wonder if we, I mean, which one of these owls do we have over here in Florida? We have I barred think we owls. Have either one we got the bar. So we have the one that's killing everyone's asses. Killing all Is that what owls. they are? We have barred owls uh, in Florida. Why? Okay, so. Yeah, they want to kill what? a half a million barred owls. They better not come over here trying to get these owls. Because Hank will be how, fighting for how, how do they? Let me ask this: How do they propose they're going to kill just one kind of bird? I they're going to send hunters out, I'm guessing, to try to. That's a good point, and 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 I think in this article, if you read the article, they said in order for this to work, like the people who are saying they shouldn't do this, in order this for it to work, years. they have to yeah, they have to go thirty years and not fuck up at all, killing off these owls. All right. So what are we gonna? We're gonna have a new uh, uh, administration, a new bureau called the Owl yeah. Killing Bureau, and it's gonna, it, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be populated by a bunch of trannies. That, um, oh, th- th- there's I just know. I don't know. There's the idea of sending somebody into the Everglades to kill snakes seems awesome. I'm like, yeah, let's kill snakes. Fuck snakes. That's a lot of work. They don't belong yeah, here. It's not. And snakes don't belong here. Do right. yeah. Uh, yeah. But the Where idea did, of me going like signing up to go kill a bunch of owls. That feels wrong on like a deep soul these, level. But these I don't mofos know why. take out these squirrels. If they don't kill the, if they don't kill these squirrels around here, the squirrels will be living with us. That there's something <laughs> deep in my soul that does not like the idea of killing owls. It feels real wrong. I don't know uh, what it is wrong. It is. Is 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 the bad owl indigenous? You know that's a good question. Is the barred if owl? If the bad owl's indigenous and the wimpy Let's owl see. is being wimpy. Um, Let's see. I would have to look up barred owls, but uh, I mean, how would a barred owl not be? Oh, well, yeah, I guess we got a bunch of shit. Um, let's look up the barred owl. Let's put it but up it, here. Like I said, barred 30, owl, also known years. as the northern barred owl, striped owl, or more informally as the hoot owl. Yeah, that's what we got. Native hoot to owl. eastern North America, yeah. but yeah. it expanded the range. So owl. he's American. Well, let him, let him do his thing. Yeah. Listen, the other the other night, right? I think it was like one o'clock in the morning, and I hear something. I know this was flapping. I could hear. I thought it was like a giant vampire bat outside my window. It I, could hear the, I could hear these big flapping wings. Like, <laughs> it, it, was it was not dragging. And, and something was getting flapping, beaten up out there. Was, I didn't even. I was too scared to go look at the window. <laughs> if you heard flapping, it was not an owl. Owls do not flap. Yeah, but no, something was. Owls are silent. Ass. They fly yeah. silently. Yeah, I think I think I also have what's that hawk I showed you guys pictures of? Because I have hawks. All kind, what was that yeah. thing I showed you the picture of it? Not just I've got owls on my property, but I've got. Uh, you told me what it was. It was some kind of or a falcon or something. Yeah, red tails. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it was a red tail that was taking out something out there. But I love that. I love those that. I will like, make oh, noise so. when they kill things. Yes. Yeah. So it must have been that. But yeah, leave the owls alone. And they yes. make it nice yeah. and creepy out here. You know, you like, yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Those things. Sometimes you feel sorry for them. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> no, they got, I don't understand why they're going to try to take these things out. And it's probably not going to work. Why don't they <laughs> use that money to fix the border? 
<laughs> Take all the extra owls and put them down on the border. Yeah, they can see at night in the whole nine yards, man. Their yeah, head spin yeah, all the way around. Train they, them. Uh, Train owls to attack illegal uh, migrants. Anyone coming no, across they're not that migrants, border. Illegal aliens. Anybody coming across illegals, that border. Yes, they're not. Illegals. Yeah. yeah. There's some. There's you just, some, uh, you just, scary they, they try to the cross the border and they just get swooped. Hundreds of owls. Yeah, just come out of nowhere. <laughs> just come down poking eyes. And yeah, first you see the owls, <laughs> then you see the zombies coming at you. You're like, oh, fuck Jesus that. Christ. And the alligators. Yeah. The crocodiles. I was, uh, I was looking at Joe Rogan, and I forgot who he was talking to, but they were talking about how the Red Cross is actually putting out videos and guides to people coming across the border so they can do it safely. You know, and telling them how to come across. And he was like, oh, this is probably to it's save like, everyone. No, if, if it's a danger of you coming across, they should tell you don't fucking go, don't go across this border. Don't come here. You didn't, you'd go yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, don't go there. But I know, once again, as we said in the beginning, Mexico's doing this deliberately. <clears throat> and there was a writer that came on. I'm trying to remember his name and the name of the series. But um, I think I have it on my, on my, in my audio oh my books. God that I was listening to, there's a series of audiobooks about this same thing, that Mexico lets a whole bunch of people come across the border and it destabilizes America and all that kind of... Well, that's exactly what the fuck like is happening it. right now. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the series, but we had that author China. here on the show. I'm with, I'm with Walter. China. Yeah. yeah. You'd be surprised at where people are coming from. Um, China. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, Syria. That's the, that's the answer for Iraq. everything. <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> uh, Lebanon. Uh, where else? Where can I say that? Uh, 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 Libya. Yeah. Uh, Somalia. Anyone, anyone's come across that border. <laughs> Russia. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, we got to do something about the border. I think a zombie, zombie actors can go a long way, believe it or not. Leave those damn owls alone, okay? Yeah. All right. They didn't but do I'm nothing not, to I'm you. Not, I don't know they who's going to shoot alone. owls. I don't know anyone out here that's going to shoot owls. I like having owls on my property taking shit out. I, it, again, I there's something about the like sanctity or sacredness of owls and... Like you, the reverence we should have for owls, because you know, like in books and literature, Wait, owls are always wise. No, no, freaking Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Owls alone. Was, yeah, how are you supposed wrong, to get your letter owls. so you could go to uh, Hogwarts without the owls? Yeah, feels wrong owls with owls. owls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need your letter so you can go to Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah. Think about all the little children out there that won't get their letters. It's just they they <laughs> nobody goes to Hogwarts because they just we're just out there with shotguns yeah. blasting owls yeah. out of the sky. Hogwarts is like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, nobody, nobody's a, coming there's anymore. There's a bunch of illegal, you know, the bunch of like Somalians <laughs> up in Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, they're eating them damn owls. What are you talking about? That's like chicken. Um, Able defense Mike says uh, Red Cross would drop a PSA on getting raped and beheaded in a safe and dignified manner. <laughs> God, um, and he says uh, owls are just raptors like any other raptor. Yep, yep, yeah. Um, yes, they are. No, yeah, they're I... wise. We write books about them. <laughs> yeah. Only you know, only the people who are running the government right now would do dumb shit like this. It's just like we're about to get overrun with wolves. You know, people don't realize that the wolf population well, is coming back real super right. strong. Let me let me just re refresh your mem memories here. There's things called coyotes. Mm -hmm. I when I when I grew up, the only place that had a goddamn coyote was out west. There were no coyotes <laughs> in Port Tampa. Yeah, or there were no the coyotes. House. There were no coyotes running down the street in Clearwater. Well, you know, we I mean, have them behind like, the house back here for sure. Yeah, you hear them right. on the other side of the lake. But do you know that? Do you know that the coyotes and the wolves? Do you know that they mixed and they and they created a thing called coy wolves? You can look that up. They created koi wolves, and so they've, well, they're even smarter, like a little bit smaller wolves. Yeah. Well, I'm all for uh, a little bit of eradication. Yeah. You know. So you know, um, I say Same we should get gators. those these owls and train them. You know, if you train these owls properly, they could be used. Yeah. Attack what? No, no. You're. It sounds like we need to train owls and wolves. 
and put them at the border to attack on the border. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You could actually turn this into a TV show. It'd be funny. The the like, wolves. if you could survive this onslaught, you know what? Come on in. Is this like the, uh, <laughs> what games is that? The uh, Hunger Games? Yeah, exactly. You get through the... Oh, but listen, okay. do you guys think I'm messing around. Do you know what would happen if you actually put people out there dressed up like zombies and, and things like that? That would scare them. Some people would turn the fuck around and go right back home. <laughs> We're wasting our money on fake crisis actors. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, it's better to waste it on those kind of crisis actors than the other kinds. You know? But I'm telling you, man, a lot of these people that are coming here, I know, I'm an immigrant. I came to America. They will be scared shitless of some zombies. We can get we can get real we can get realistic looking. Superstitious fuckers, like yeah. That, they're yeah. Super, <laughs> They see some zombies. They see a bunch. They see like a zombie horde. We don't even have to get real zombies. We could put holographic zombies out there. It will scare the shit out of people. You know? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You'll just see people go, you know what? Fuck America. No. Nah, fuck it. Not worth it. So, pretty soon it's going to be bad enough that people will be like, you know what? Who wants to go to America? I. <sighs> you know? That's the whole point of all this. So, okay, you want to talk about this gun, Walt, that you're putting together or your parts This here? is no gun. These are mere pieces of sheet metal <laughs> that are the same are the same shape as a Matson M50. Mm -hmm. So if you need some repair sections for your Matson M M50, that is M-A-D-S-E-N-M-50, mm -hmm. I know where you can get them. They're at Sten Parts. So, so. Uh, okay, so can you break this down a little bit here because... I know. What is this Some, everybody's in, I never heard of it. A Madsen is an SMG, a submachine gun, built in Denmark after World War II. Can I show this picture? Two. Can I show that? Oh, well, I'm showing it. Yeah, you, you did already, so what are you <laughs> asking me for? Uh, Madsen. Yeah. It, it, is the oh. Madsen... Does it follow any other designs? Because it, it kind of has design features of, like, the... It's a little bit oozy. Okay. It's a little bit no, better. not even at all oozy. It's like uh, Smith and Wesson no, seventy six, no. which is a take no. on the Swedish. What? K I mean, now do you guys think this is cute? Because this is not. I mean, I think Walter can make this look better, but this is not super cute right here. What's what's it called? The Madsen one. Let's look it up and see what's supposed to look. M fifty. Super. There's cute. a really what interesting is... Hank that you should go listen to. Uh, Ian from Forgotten Weapons talks about the generations of submachine guns. Those are second generation submachine guns, and yeah. none of them are good looking. Personal opinion, none of the open oh. bolt second gen sub guns. What? They all they all kind of look like that. Well, what makes the Matson different is if you look at that design, you see that barrel nut in the front? Once you take the barrel nut off, the receiver splits apart. Why Yeah, are, that's cool. It's it's hinged in the back. Okay. So and um, and okay. So and it's a good. real Mm -hmm. Well, it's a real simple design because just two stampings create the whole receiver. Okay. Um, so, um, uh, so from the sexy standpoint, Gen One sub guns are the sexy things that you think of: the World War Two Thompsons, the MP Forties, the Berettas, the Stens. Those are the sexy. The Gen Twos are like the Smith Seventy Six. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. A minute. And, and MP Five. MP Five is not a gen 2 i think that might be a gen 3 okay uzi's not a gen 2 then either i think uzi would be a gen 3 the gen 2s were like super super simplistic oh, as sure. simple as you yeah could, just um, simplicity is genius yeah. right yeah that, gen 2s yeah. um gen 1s and gen 3s i think are a little cooler because you get like the mp5s or the, the the thompson's things like that but the gen 2s work perfectly fine okay that's a They're good picture two, how it splits apart Mm -hmm. they're they're so, tubes so, with bolts attached to them that go full auto they're super simple so what is the yes. reason for this project walt is this some parts you've had lying well around? i am i am well i'm so there's oh, lots of these kits that have, uh, okay. a lot of these kits have been imported recently uh -huh. and 
I, I'm going to sell these sections. I, I didn't make these to, for my health. I made these to <laughs> increase oh the. I, I, I made these to increase the health of me wallet. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. So, um, You're making these. This is for the Cybertruck fund. This is what's going on. This is how Hank Strange where gets Where can you the get you a Madsen parts? Truck. Oh, here it is. M50. Oh, Walter. M50 parts kits are 100. <laughs> oh, Walter. <laughs> this is 160 you... bucks for a Madsen. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, see send that? me that link, Patrick. Send me the link. I'll put, I'll oh, put God. It. Here it goes. It's, uh, uh, <laughs> it's a okay, submachine like... gun. You need an SOT or you need to not talk about it out loud. Let's let's say that, okay? Yeah, yeah don't send me the link. Don't send me the link. You either Just we between. either don't talk about it or you have an SOT. That's all we can say. And I am an SOT, uh, by the way. So guys. am I. So, yes. um, so am I. Yes. Um, no, you are no, not an O seven, Mister Strange. You are not an O seven. I know. Uh, I know a couple. I know a couple. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I will. I will. I will soon also have barrels. I'm going to get quote on oh, getting cool. barrels made too. And um, that's I, I might partake, Walter. So these, There's so also, these things are hinged and open up. That's interesting. That's right. interesting. A lot of the kits you see on the market now have the magwell cut off also. I don't have a replacement piece for the magwell at this time. Mm-hmm. Um, my kit How, that I, I got yeah. lucky, one of the kits I bought, the magwell was not cut off. So I Yeah, I they do that. cut the, the magwell was cut right across the top. That's yeah. stupid. Um, so how solid is this being split like that? Uh, well, once you screw be- the two together... It's it's pretty solid. The, the front right. part has a thread, and you screw it together, and it clamps yeah. it. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. They're um okay. And you just guns. yeah. Okay, so the action's not yep. really. You'll see soon really enough. Issues. Okay. Right. Patience, yeah, patience, forward. grasshopper. Patience. Looking forward to it. Looking forward. That's to just it. really sad. Cutting the magwell is kind of dumb. Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> Everyone yeah. that cuts up shit in this realm cuts it up in a fucked up way, Patrick. Well, no, one no. good thing, they're not torch cut. They're soft cut. So that's a mm. big plus. Are they old so, enough to be saw cut? Is that a thing? Is that why? I don't know how they got by that. I don't really know. Okay. Mm. I don't know. So how many of um, these would be out in the world? A lot of them? I don't know exactly how many thousand. You mean like in them. in use for militaries? Is that what you're asking? Oh, yeah. how many would have been that? A lot of them. It was... It was a very um, uh, popular gun to supply for various insurrections and such, and revolutionary oh, okay. type things. And okay, I, I think the Americans, design. the uh, CIA, had a bunch of them. They handed out to people, and mm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. This I is mean, you know, the, this is in the category of that freedom pistol, right? Get, get a lot of these. It would be a oh, submachine the gun of the liberator. Engine? Yeah. No, this yeah. is not really a liberator type gun. I mean, okay. yes, it was not like not really drop them out of the airplanes and throw them out like that, but no. Because, mm-hmm. but you know, different, you know, all over the post World War II, there were little battles going on all over the world: South America, Africa, mm-hmm. all over. The place, this is so. from the Discord. I think Abel Defense Mike put this. It says Hank. Uh, I don't know. I can't oh, hear the audio of it, but it says Hank walking up to the SOTs. <laughs> I'm one of you. Is that what he's saying? I'm like I'm one of you, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm a kid. Uh, we haven't been on our Discord forever. Yeah, I yeah actually, yeah. If you the audio yeah, goes, hey hey, uh, it's it's like hey kids, hi hi fellow fellow children or something like that. <laughs> yeah, hi fellow teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, you guys just have to remind me to go to the Discord and I'll go there and. Yeah, I totally for, I forget about yeah, I forget. it. I forget too. I um, disabled it. Mine was starting up every time my computer came on. I hate that. Oh, okay, you can so. turn. You can turn it off. But yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's normal. But you know, it's there. I don't know if people need an invite or whatever to get in there. Uh, I don't think you do. You just need to get the Discord yeah. on your computer and just, um, kind of type it in. A, I think that's because I had I had I had the this and then I had a weather one of the storm chaser guys in my Discord and I was always getting mm-hmm. there's a you can do a web interface if you don't want to do the um uh, the, the app you can also do a web yeah interface. yeah we got to be better with it I, and I know it's a good way for everyone who comes in on the podcast to hang out with each other as well and yeah you know and kick it and all that kind of stuff and as I, I think I've said this before but that phone number I used to use that's out Lola stop paying for that. 
So okay. good for you. That, that was a waste. Of no, no, no more, no more, <laughs> no more one eight hundred Hank Strange. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, well, they kept up the, upping the price, and Nolo was like, "Yeah, I'm not paying oh, for this anymore." So I think I'm when it got to like two hundred bucks a month or some craziness. Holy moly! She no was way. like, "You know what? Nope, <laughs> done. Nope." So um, yeah, that's what happened to that. But there's still a lot of ways you guys can uh, can reach out. So yeah, yeah you can what, you can buy a van and go over to a. Go over to Stranger Poop. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, let's talk about this here and whatever time we have left. This came from Richard Munder from Jolly Old England, our friend. Ukrainian pilots leading drug smuggling gangs across straight. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said this for you, quote. Uh, uh, Spanish God, police of <laughs> Spanish police have broken up a drug trafficking ring that used elite Ukrainian helicopter pilots to fly drugs across the Strait of Gibraltar in daring low-level night flights. Uh, Guardian okay, civil well. officers arrested two Ukrainians as they attempted to escape after they landed a helicopter in a field near uh, Chiclanla de la Frontera in southern Spain. Um, the operation took place in January, but lots of details on the arrests and the drug trafficking All right, well, rings, that's, tactics that that's only just emerged. Kind of common in this world. That's... Yeah. I mean, if you have guys that have a special set of skills. <laughs> and they're bored. <laughs> and they don't have enough money. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're going to do, they're going to get up to shenanigans with their skills. Well, yeah, this is I what, mean... do you guys remember a couple of years ago, those guys who went over to Haiti and tried to take over? Remember? We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Moved My Freedom podcast going without the support of manufacturers like Safety Harbor Firearms. SHF is a quintessential family-owned small business totally representative of the American dream. Safety Harbor Firearms is a Florida-based manufacturer of the compact entry stock and the SHTF 50 upper for an AR-15 lower. Also, SHF happily delivers on your Sten Gun parts needs. So don't forget to check out stenparts.com and safetyharborfirearms.com. Yeah, you guys don't remember we talked about this a few years ago where someone here in America paid some former special ops guys and they went to Haiti and they, and they were going, they were trying to um, like take out someone. Uh, was that Haiti? Are you sure that wasn't... Was that um, Haiti or was that somewhere else? That was Venezuela. Was it Venezuela? Okay. I think that was Venezuela. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, that kind of stuff, you know. I mean. Yeah. There was a time when that was more prevalent, but um, yeah, not so you, much in modern. I think you were right. I think you were right, Walt. Here it goes. Venezuela yeah. coup plotters met at Trump Doral. Central figure says U.S. officials knew of plan. So, ex-U.S. Special Operations Sergeant, whose security firm took part in a botched Venezuelan coup last May. Yeah, this is like 2020. So that kind of stuff happens all the time. These dudes get bored. You know, it takes it takes specific kinds of people, like risk takers, to do certain jobs. Like to be a helicopter pilot, <laughs> you know, uh, you got to be a risk taker. So yeah, I mean, none of that surprises me. We got lots of that going on. Yeah. But Richard Maunder sent that over. These are just the guys who got busted. Just yeah, it's the ones shit. that got caught. Yeah, just imagine the shit that goes on that no one, no one gets caught doing. Yeah. You know, uh, um, Able Defense Mike says invites can be permanent link slash URL or timed. Uh, Lola used to share permanent URL in the chat. Yeah, I don't know. Patrick would know more about this than I do for the Discord stuff. I don't know. <laughs> the link for people who want to get in on the Discord. Uh, yeah, I can I can share permanent if we need. Uh, let me do that real quick. Do we have folks that want to jump in? Uh, hold on. I think so. I think someone might be asking about it. Yeah, um, give me a second. Uh, what's up, Walt? Nothing. I'm just. Uh, this is an empty 410 oh, Enfield. Oh, okay. Shot there you go. Round. All right. So here we usually we I don't think we've done the words of wisdom in a while. We do need to wrap up because we're at the end of the show here. Yeah, um, it is. Yep. But uh, any words of wisdom before we do the wrap up? Anyone got words of wisdom? Anything? Mm. Mm. Uh, be patient. <laughs> be patient and uh, keep your head up because things come along that you don't expect, and you're really you know when you're 
when you're digging and looking for stuff, a lot of times it won't come along. When you kind of give up and go, ah, fuck this, I'm going to do something else, something will pop up and you'll go, oh, shit, okay, yeah, sounds good. So, yeah, sometimes you don't have to chase it. Let it come to you. Sometimes don't chase, yeah, because things come along your way and then you get things that you need that you never even thought you wanted. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like an STD. Exactly. Yes, right. <laughs> we're, we're forgiven. Precisely. So that's what Babyface is telling us here. Uh, <laughs> um, so listen, I'm going to let these guys tell you how you can support them. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think we, we should be back next Monday, but I know sometime here in the middle of the month, I'm going to Vegas for the uh, broadcasting show. But I'll, I'll make sure I'll let you guys know. But I think we'll be back here Monday. So Pat, let's start with Patrick. Uh, YouTube.com slash babyfacep, Instagram, baby underscore face P. I am comfortably busy at the moment with work. I haven't, I haven't really done a couple, a lot of videos in a while because I've kind of been busy. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a bunch of ideas that I just got to get to go do at some point, and I just haven't done them. So they'll, they'll, it'll stuff will happen eventually. Uh, I just. And I got to get my ass motivated, and that's hard sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And a uh, link for anybody there is the link in the chat for Discord. Boom. Okay, so just check out that. And you can sh you guys can share that if you want to with anyone. And if you are to. coming to us, if you're still here from the audio side of things, uh, if you want a link to the Discord, you can hit me up on Instagram or Facebook or wherever, and I can send you the link. Okay, cool. Uh, Walter? Uh, you can catch us, see us. Um, get a hold of us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Also on the player there. I also have a Rumble account. Safe Terror Firearm now has had one, but I finally posted a few things to it. On Rumble and Dirtfoot Racing, which is on Facebook, Instagram, and player. On Rumble also. So, yes. uh, and, and then there's stent parts. Right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Stent parts for this kind of stuff. Pieces of metal. Repair sections. That's stentparts.com. Absolutely. Um, we don't ask questions around here. Everybody right. minds their own <laughs> goddamn business. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, Able Defense Mike says, words of wisdom, be wary of anyone who tells you who to hate or what should offend you. They may not have your, in, uh, oh, your interest. Ain't nobody got your best interest at heart. Only yeah, you absolutely. do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> everybody, I say do Just good... picture everybody else out there is like P. Diddy trying to get all up in your... Did you see that yeah. video of P. Diddy sitting next to Mike Tyson? And Mike Tyson and had Mike to move Tyson. his hand. Mike had moved his hand out of the way. Mike, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was like, he was like fingering Mike Tyson's booty hole or something. And Mike Tyson had to be like, get that shit I, out of here. I, I, yeah. I, Mike Tyson should yep. have decked his fucking ass. That's Mike Tyson was did. way too nice to to P. Diddy because P. Diddy was grabbing his butt. I think. Yeah, that's not cool. That is some. That not is cool. no. That is yeah. Huh. Not cool. Huh. Yeah. So <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, it was fun hanging out with everyone tonight. Uh, good seeing all you folks out there. Oh, let me throw up. You know, that's I should always I try. I forget to do this. I got to throw up our uh, our thing here before we go out so everyone could see it. You know, I spent I spent a lot of time having the AI work on this. Boom, there you go. So that's for a Easter, April Fool's. All that kind of stuff. You guys could do whatever. Feel free to do whatever you want to do with that bad boy. Um, you know, do tattoos and, or whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. And thank you, your local pagan for for the Easter Having bunny and for Easter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, we, on that note, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> we are out of here. Let me uh, let me press all the buttons right now. Let me go and uh, a Germanic pagan, by the way, too. Germanic pagan. Right. OK, cool, 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 cool. Hit That's the, the origins right here. Make sure we get you got that one in at the end, Walt. 